Thank you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. This episode is being brought to you as a part of the many things that Pointless creates. For our returning listeners, thank you so much for coming back. And if this is your first episode, welcome, get comfortable, and please keep an open mind. During the pandemic, OD and these sweet. Okay, so we're recording. Rotted. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, hi, hi. Good night, good night. And all them things. Late night to know, but we're there. Hi, hello, everybody. Welcome to the Pointless Talks. Ting and ting. We have intro. We're not going to do the something again. We can't just jump in on something. Listen, oh, we're just zing. switching off. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> talk to me nice. Yo. Well, we never even know so who did start, but um, greetings to everybody. Hi, hello everyone. Good night, good morning, good afternoon. Whichever time I'm on the side, so for listen, thank you for joining us. Yeah, we reach back again. Yeah, we tell I'm us surprised. We're we'll keep going this time with us, so we we'll reach back, so we're there now. We're there. This one is actually earlier than it's supposed to be because we are recording earlier in the week, but mm-hmm. I think... I think I kind of want to record early in the week or the end of the week and drop the episode early. So we figure out our system. But either way, it's the next week on something there. So, yeah. Ooh. Well, like I'm going to talk about it and it kind of did start. D&D. Mm. Just mm. going at it. Listen. Um, <laughs> what do you feel about D&D? I love it. Okay. My life. Listen. Enough time enough. We'll never be the Twitter. same. How I drop? Don't be there, so man. Go on, man. Go on, man. Enough time. Me up on Twitter. Me there. Tweet, 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 tweet on the Instagram. Phone the pan D and D. If you text me, you call me. Not one clout to come true. Cause guess what? Me there in the app, and I don't even like go to the home screen and go to the next. So I just double click and then switch over to the next app. And mm-hmm. I don't. <laughs> I am not okay. And I listen. The other day, somebody to come try say something to me about. Oh, I saw. Excuse me. What? You saw me doing what? And I didn't do... Hold on there. You know, people watch people, you know. It's the entitlement that get me, though. Like, well, you feel like... You know, it, entitlement I, go. You know that go already. Have to respond to you? Yeah. Are you a pay the bill? I must, even if I you are pay the bill, I feel my phone. Facts. Hold so, on there. Me never know about D&D, really. No, me know about it. Everybody else talk about, oh, me I go on D&D, me I put people on D&D. Irks, irks, irks. All right, I all right, cool. Me go try it during the pandemic, yeah, you know, man. And... It changed my life. <laughs> me stop see alert. Come and get a million alerts a day. From email to Telegram to Discord to Twitter to Facebook to Yasso, 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 WhatsApp. In this and this group with my dad and our local church friend. And I'm like, <laughs> big up Marva. Hey, but, marvelous. <laughs> but still. Yeah, so I tried it one day. I said, wait, what are we my phone? Sweet. <laughs> not, not, I'm funny. Not going to want to I'm not come up, Yasso. I'm going to look at my phone call, 18, 19, phone call me. I miss well, scam likely. <laughs> well. Me like I going to say, I so much people like you, Jesus Christ. My girl, I'm not going to talk, to, me not talk to too much people on my phone. I'm not going to like you, I'm not going to talk to you on my phone, that so don't call. That's a 19 phone call. Anybody, also. everybody keep that in mind. Don't call me. I'm not do surprise phone call. You have to go schedule that. Yeah. Unless you are a part of the like chosen, chosen few. But the end is sweet. Me is like, me can't stop. <laughs> I'm a, I don't know. I'm going to my phone right now. D and D like fuck. What do you mean? D and D, yo, it's a good thing though. But sometimes it look like if you take care of still, just so you can't stay in tune, just in case something happen, emergency and them something them gonna say you nothing look. Um, but some, but it help you still. That is why I have a favorite. Oh so well, yeah, the favorite people, them. And I'm a favorite. And if my phone up on D and D, and if it's a fucking emergency, call my phone. Remember, me just I get tipped off. So I mean, I'm not favorite list for D and D. You know, D and D is for everybody. You know, D and D not partial. You know. Straight, the end, the end, the end, you know. Fuck. Mom, it don't matter. Mother, sister, brother, uncle, it don't matter. Everybody depends on D&D. But, mm-hmm. me like the favorite thing. I go change this. I can put yeah. you on a few others under there. Some of the so bad. Because some of the people look. All you have said, me text for all two days. Me I look for the best. I say, what is you know? But see, because I'm an actual friend and I know you as a person. Me exactly. Say, Jesus Christ, the girl not text you back. She day I live our life, yeah? I'm going about my business. Because I know that if something happens, life. somebody will <laughs> call me and tell me, say, yo... Da 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 da, right? So, you know, yeah, but yeah, people will take offense by something. People, oh, you know, some me I call you, and then sometimes we depend on the phone and we catch a one call, mm-hmm. and then the next person will say, wait, so how come you pick up that person call? That person get very very lucky, and them very fortunate, cause when they pick up the phone, it just I so happens watch. that they pick up the phone. Yeah, man. Listen, man. Too, and you know what? Okay. You're supposed to know who get next to cars. You know. But no, I will call it. Prior said that, but no, I said two people I said also. So I'm already. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Also, you can't pick up for them phone call, but they can't, can't pick up for me. You know who may attack. 
Mm. Anyways, mm. <laughs> them too. <laughs> but yeah, so me so like, for example, right? Mm-hmm. The other day, I'm, and I do have a lot of the same people on Twitter as I do on Instagram. Mm-hmm. So them see me a tweet, I mean, I show something from the story, I mean, depend on this profile. Listen, I have like four freaking Instagram profiles, like, and I'm on them. I try to keep them active. I, I want to Joe. <laughs> I try to keep I them I want active. to draw. I try my best to keep them active, right? So me then I may tweet, I may profile, I may have, you know, whatever. And listen, my red receipts are on on my my, my, my text messages. For real niggas only. Yeah, because... Me not mind for midwife, but that's okay. Me not frightened niggas. for nobody. <laughs> no nigga, delivered. Okay? Me not frightened for <laughs> nobody. I'll listen... Listen, me open message, I'm going to say, hey, I'm not feel like for response to this, you know? I'm fuck for fine out. If you feel a way about me, sister, me read it, I'm going to say nothing. Hush, me, but people do take offense because, here, but what we that talking about earlier, hey, Ella? This entitled, you see this entitlement business? Single. Hold on there. Speaking of I'm entitlement. I'm single again. Back up. I'm single. Who when I feel up? When I feel your cup? Listen. So nice. <laughs> Make her sing so in a night here. Wait, no. Hold on. Hold so on. Much. You see the entitlement? <laughs> Yeah, me see you a bubble up and a jig. I was so, I was in there. Be careful. Nah, and then I said, strong. And then I strong. Be careful. If you own weak, because you drink enough out of the cup, then you know. More is in the freezer for you, by the way. Just Listen, so you when know. you see me, you know, pass sleep, you know, I go on. <laughs> but entitlement, don't forget entitlement. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a real serious thing. And I feel like even during during all these things, where I go on, you, can't, mm-hmm. you can't see how much people entitlement just stand up in them. And you look at them like, Yo, trying it up? Like, who is you? The audacity. We were talking about this the other it's day. The, the audacity. audacity. Yeah. Tis the season for audacity and tis the season <laughs> to get blocked. Not blocked. By a nigga like me. Not blocked. What? Listen, I discovered the block button last summer. I long time I have black people. I'm no. really too black. You know, I'm not really black people. I'm not black nobody yet. I'm not- all Actually, right. except for that one like nigga that wouldn't leave me alone. Yeah, but that different. Cause yeah, if you have be creepy, move from yourself. Yeah. My thing is with the blocking thing. How you feel about blocking? Like, <laughs> oh, we wanna get into this. Yeah, yeah. Hold on there, cause why idiot and y'all block me when they hit Oh. <laughs> Listen. So mm. all right, right. This yo, is my thing. Yo. <laughs> Do not block somebody if you still wanna communicate with them. Yeah. If you have an iPhone. There's a do not it's disturb like defeat feature. The pur- that defeat the purpose. My thing is, oh, no, gonna gonna no, 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 you know what it is? They want to see how many, any avenues you want to go to to get to them. Because this is upon Twitter, they might talk about, oh, when they email you after you don't block them on everything. That's, a, or, that, that's under that situation again. That's or, it. What, what oh, call when that they cash you so that you can unblock them or whatever. People fool of themselves, you know? Your parents didn't love you growing up? You feel like you need validation? What, what I need to go People through, People are shit, and, and that's exactly what they full of. Hell and high water to get in contact with you because you blocked me. Listen, a nigga like me, I'm going to be like, oh, you blocked me? I realize, yeah. I realize. A lot of people, you see? Me don't know all them parents raise them with this entitlement thing and certain thing where them feel like they're more than people because nobody no more than me. No more than me, neither. And that is period, that's all, period. Nobody that's no more point. than me. If I want something, I want something, but... People feel like say you must have a chase after them. And you feel go, yes, or yes, and yes, yes, after. So you are God. Who care? <laughs> Who care? I'm not ramp with people. Speaking of that. I'm not ramp with people. You are not God, so I'm not ramp with people anyways. I'm not chase to go nowhere. You are not my woman, my mother, my father, my, my nothing. Even that, I'm not chase down. Eh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm becoming a no set of life. <laughs> mother, father, girl, boy, but them, But them would have more get up like, yeah. compared to them... Some Cabra. them strege a road yeah. who think like oh them just hey people different nowadays yeah. anyways people you know, different this corona where them feel like so they're in at the house and now they no. let out look a bit and them have to get 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 of course no man me not in at that cause listen <laughs> you black me you know make sure say you know I'm black I know that people clock. love black and then come back and let me tell you people get vexed they say and them say yo fuck if so and so and such black 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 and then when you look them sit down and I'm glad and them say wait I'm just black the person. Let me go fast. Come on, I see what I go on. Then by your look, you're and black. People love to play black and black. Me not black nobody because me no business if you see no, or if you're not see. Shine. And me just not care if you see or if you're not see. If you are see, me not care if you look on the story. Me not care if you comment. Me not care if you like. Listen, me no business. Just not come with no fuckery. My Twitter is gonna be public till Jesus come. 
If you want to sit down and go watch my Twitter for see if me I tweet about you. Mm. I don't even know if my mm. I think my Twitter public and but go my Twitter not, but my Twitter not sweet like one time. Yeah, I am like very one time. I am well behaved. <laughs> like what? Yeah, like one time. Now Listen. I'm a well behaved citizen. Listen. Mm-mm. If you don't want fast and cancel it. Nah, son. <laughs> don't go. Don't tell them to go searching for tweets back in the day, bro. Oh man. <laughs> Oh, we used to drip up people. Dog. <laughs> Many of people got, listen, got clawed up on that timeline, bro. Listen, nah, we don't do that no more. I don't even get people. Yeah, we like, don't got older. I it's really don't have deep. the energy for people. You, we have seeing people arguing on like Twitter and stuff like that. I don't argue with people on no damn internet. Mm-mm. You might get one look of comeback and done. My thing is, if I'm arguing with the internet, the chances are that means I don't know you, which means yeah. you don't have my number or anything mm-hmm. like that. Because anybody that know and they have an issue with me, they would know to contact me Directly. so we can discuss what we're discussing. I don't care who the f- you is coming into my DM talking At about Ray, Ray, Ray. Listen, don't even come Listen, over here, boy, say, because come I'll be like, why this, you know? I don't argue with people, y'all. I really don't. I just be like, you got it, and Godspeed, mm-hmm. and um, let go and let God. That's really it, and I just keep it bouncing because I don't stone. Bouncy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hold yet, on. Hold as you said, bouncy. Weird. Mm. Not yet. Not okay. yet. Okay. Easy, okay. easy. Okay. All right. All so, right. Yeah. Ready? So, yeah. Hot. Hot. Say you're ready. <laughs> Pipe in. Ready. <laughs> but, yeah. So, I'm not really into the whole blocking thing. Me, personally, mm-hmm. over the years, since forever and ever, I had one person blocked. Every single point of contact that they had for me was blocked. Yeah. And then, like, last year, I was just like, mm. I think it's also a thing with me, like, with boundaries. Mm-hmm. But not a boundary. Right. Um, I am learning. To, to you know, boundaries. instill and set boundaries. That's a whole life. other. That's a whole other. Because that's a lot, but it takes a lot. Because yes. if you're, it depends on how you naturally are as a person. Yes, and how your butt see a lot. Kuya. when your phone a ring, when your phone a ring. But anyways. Mm hmm. Yeah. So certain 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 boundaries and stuff like that. Yeah, and then I realized too that it's funny when. You know, for somebody like me who doesn't really set boundaries, when I finally start to put them in place, people start acting kind of like, mm, why are you acting like that? Because I love myself and I'm acting like it for a change. Like, I'm not putting you before me anymore. I don't care about your comfort versus X, Y, Z, Ray, Tay, Tay. So, it's a lot of that that comes in. So, listen, blocking season, you know, set to something women are like. Like, the other day, somebody come ask me about, I think we talked about it, the, um, the gay agenda, whatever the fuck. Listen, after me tell a man about himself, block. <laughs> but I'm not to say to you. And Why are you spreading all that gay shit over here? Go suck your mama, block. Why are you with all that gay shit? Because Pointless. Gay shit Why are you with all that gay shit? Because the gay side is the right side. Anyways. Uh... <laughs> I heard you. My thing with the blocking thing, personally, me not black nobody, but me get black a couple times. I mean, I wonder to myself, me? You get black? Yeah, black me? Men are trouble like people. Me. me, y'all black me. No, really think about it. If anybody else listens to the sound of black, me on the Because where y'all black me for? <laughs> men are trouble people. Men are do them something. No slide in a DM. Men are do none of them something there. So you're not for really black me. Unless you're back, snub low, whoa. And that's not my problem. <clears throat> I low key, the asshole part of me, I feel like if you block me, I won. Ha ha. <laughs> like, if, if, you blo- if you felt that compelled to block me, I want. See, I be blocking people just because I don't feel like being bothered by you. Being anymore. bothered, right, yeah, right. Like, and it's literally like just a whole bunch of niggas in my block list. Like, just men. Like Men? <laughs> yeah, like niggas I used to like deal with, entertain, like whatever. It's like, I don't got nothing to talk to you about no more. So, I just, you know, block. Leave me alone. One of them do a, do the block down by something and call me. I was like, but Jesus. <laughs> frighten me. I'm just like, frighten me. Jesus Christ. Before I got my apartment, right? And then I be, oh, Jesus Watch out, watch out, broke up people things. Lit, for real. Lit on, <laughs> lit on side of a chef. Did it. Early morning. Wait. Hey. Phone a ring. The chef. Phone a ring. You know me, I talk about it. No. <laughs> we need to have sound effect yeah. for this blow up. Wait. The, um, no, your chef, not my chef. But yeah, so um, look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Now you think you're too much. Look at, don't look up the headphone or something. No, look at you. Anyways. So yeah, right? Early morning, early, early morning. I see my phone I ring, unknown number. I said, what the bum because I call me unknown. I never answer. So then, my um, name, I laid, laid back again. Phone ring. I said, bum, whatever. So I answer the phone. Mm-hmm. All I hear is, damn, 
You blocked me for real? No. Damn, I can't believe a nigga blocked though. As I, soon as I heard the voice, I said, shit, and I hung up the phone because me never, <laughs> me never want to talk to them. <laughs> that was a very, listen, I end up driving going on there you now because toxic situation, nothing not come from it. No, me have, a, all right. You said this blocking thing now? Mm-hmm. No, me have something for say with Una, with Una and her pride. Uh-huh. Una and her little pride about <laughs> herself. About now, when people block Uno, Pan One Avenue, <clears throat> Take it and go on. Yes, yeah, so I get black on Facebook. When I run gun on Instagram. You get black on Instagram, you run gun on Twitter. You get black on Twitter, you run gun on Yasso. Yasso and Yasso. By the time I look, you end up in an email. I send me email as if me are your business partner. <laughs> and I, like you want to CC me. <laughs> right? One must have the little shame. When people black, you know, just stay on the corners. I see people black, people all about, and them still find a way to find them. All right, letter. <laughs> Not US Postal yeah, Service. Yeah, yeah, like we are pen pal and them something there. Yeah, people, on a fist up. If somebody black on have the cushion, man, just keep on the corners. People don't want them corners, you know. What would that talk about? <laughs> Boundary. Boundary with that talk about. Yo, somebody writes me a letter. I'm cr- Speaking of letters. Wait. Me the, me <laughs> supposed to have a pen. Girl, if y'all listen to this, me I talk about you. <laughs> Me not supposed to have a pen pal and all. Wait, so I don't get none back. Me not supposed to have a pen pal and all. Me not supposed to have a pen pal and all. Me not supposed to have a pen pal and all. Me not supposed to have a pen pal and all. Me not supposed to have a pen pal and all. Me not supposed to have a pen pal and all. Me not supposed to have a pen pal and all. Me not supposed to have a pen pal and all. Me not supposed to have a pen pal and all. Me not supposed to have a pen pal and all. Me not supposed to have a pen pal and all. Me not supposed to have a pen pal and all. Me not supposed to have a pen pal and all. Me not supposed to have a pen pal and all. Me not supposed to have a pen pal and all. Me not supposed to have a pen pal and all. Me not supposed to have a pen pal and all. Me not supposed to have a pen pal and all. Me not supposed to have a pen pal and all. Me not supposed to have a pen pal and all. You could have put in a car and do the back of gear. I get back drive, don't go pick it up at this rate. Wow. Hey, girl, Whoa. just say no rate, me, you know? Just say no rate. Yeah, no but more. everybody right. have the little shame. But when, I'm no if shame. somebody block your yes or yes, so that don't mean say if you go fine no. over yes or forget in contact. Yeah. Just, hey. just take boundary, boundaries. It's like you'll be creepy now. It's like somebody said, yo, obviously, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to interact with you. I don't want nothing to do with you. And you still are trying to find ways to go in people's space. That kind of, okay, that's strange, on, you right? know? No, no, dread. No, 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 come tell me that. We are come, we are come te- no, 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 me no business how sweet it did be. Listen, and I think, let me not say that, but, yo, I should be recording this on video, your face just Because, one. All right, so, somebody called me narcissistic, and I could kind of see why they would say that. Because, you know, sometimes... Hmm, like, you. Yeah. Narcissistic, no sway. I have moments when I be like, you know, my Leo Venus or whatever come in and I might, you know, I might eh, get a little flexy, especially when my hair is done and I feel like, bitch, I'm the shit. You mm-hmm. know, I have my moments. Mm-hmm. So now... That Leo Venus, child. So now, right, somebody blocked me, right? And my thing is, we were in the middle of a conversation. Mm-hmm. We weren't beefing. We didn't have no argument. We have no falling out, no nothing. Mm-hmm. Idiot y'all just block for some. I'm going to bumble clap. I say, yo, what? Mm-hmm. So I'm going to message them on Instagram. I say, yo, if you never did once, actually, no. Miss Seth, them block me on Instagram too. Mm. But then they follow me on my, my other business page. I'm going to say, I'm gonna send one message to, hey, if you never did want to talk to me, you could have just said something. I would not bother you after this. Because the thing with me, I respect people's boundaries. I might not have none of my own, but mm-hmm. I respect yours. Mm-hmm. First of all, also, sh- <laughs> there were things of mine at their residence that I wanted back in my possession. Correct. And just want to say, yo, if you never want to talk to me no more, you could have just said that and drop off with something, then you go pick them up, whichever one worked best. And, Very quick, one, two, three. You know, seven minutes down the road, I know nothing too tough. Mm-hmm. So that was just my whole thing about it. Like, communication. A lot of people have issues with communicating, and that's where a lot of this block culture shit be coming into. Like, well, oh, yeah. We can't talk about our feelings or whatever the fuck, so I'm just gonna block you. But, can we talk about the part where some people don't even, dis- listen, where you don't even feel like you want to give people no explanation? Mm-hmm. Some people, there are them situations out there where it's just like, if I don't even feel like I want to tell you or talk to you and tell you why I don't want to deal with you or block you. Not yeah. to say it's right, because everybody mm-hmm. has done it at some time or another, where you just like, man, I don't even feel like going through this with you and telling you X, Y, Z. Yeah. Block. But then there's some people That's where, you feel, also those situations. where you're supposed to be like, all right, exactly. mm, whatever, and don't be an asshole. Real. Yeah, like but if I fuck with you, like... Everybody has everybody done it. Yeah, there's there's time time and place for everything. So like that whole thing, I just be like, 
So that was one instance where I was but like, But you girl, got to know what? the time and the place. Yes. Well, eventually, I guess. It's me and you it's, never it, had a You, you kind of learn. Yeah, if there's no falling out, there's absolutely no We ain't never had no argument. Reason. Ain't never had no beef. We ain't never had no issues between the two of us that I know of. But, so but you know, people... Put none of us or nothing. Yeah, Sorry. you took it right yeah. out of my mouth. That's what I'm saying. But people carry feels all the time and will not tell you. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, you get blocked. You're like, wait, what? Wait, hey. what? And the whole time, people have feelings and them have them. I carry feels. So I used I... to date somebody who would never tell me what they didn't like about me, and I used to ask all the time, like, "What's your issue? What What about me would you like to, me to change?" Oh no, you're fine. If you're gonna change, you're gonna change. Never question. Yeah, ask. If you ask, are you ask guys? You I actually to want to. Put in some kind Listen, of work and change some other things by yourself. I am just an ax. No, no, no. I'm on a constant journey of self improvement. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, ask. I don't know what that, ask. Ask. Ax. <laughs> Love me. I am on a constant journey of self improvement. Okay. So if like I'm asking someone be. this, I mean, everybody should if be. If I'm asking you this, it's because I'm in a relationship with you and this is something that I want to be long term. Okay. I want this to go, you know what I'm saying? The full mile if you talk get it, um get there. So if something about me you don't like, and if it's something that's trivial, like, oh, you don't like the fact that, bitch, I don't comb my fucking hair, you won't comb it for me? You know what I'm saying? Like, if it's something dumb like that or whatever, <laughs> like, we can work it out, we can talk about it, you're just going to be like, oh, I don't like the fact that you got tattoos. Well, listen, bitch, <laughs> them they are. So my thing is no tattoo. Where tattoo I go? But just I say, you know? Yeah, but, oh, I thought, like, yo, but no, I no, said, no, so no, where no, tattoo no. I go? You can't move from here, say, no, you, saying, you like, have to go because more tattoo I come. <laughs> them are running. Exactly. So that's my thing, like. We can have conversations about things that you don't that you don't like about a person or whatever the case is. Like I'm a very like, tell me the truth. Don't tell me things because you think that's what I want to hear. Think I want to hear. Oh right. Lord, I hate that. Don't 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 do that. What's that? What's that saying? Well, kill me with a. Kill me with a tightness. What? Oh sorry. Ooh, what? <laughs> Wait. How you read so far? <laughs> you said kill me with a something. But spoil me with the truth. Some shit like that. What's that saying? I can't remember it right now. It's a saying. What but are y'all gonna know it? Yeah. <laughs> Something, something, but spoil me with the truth. Some shit like that. But I guess, yeah, you're right. Mm. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Tell me the truth. Don't lie to me about nothing. Don't keep no secrets from me, none of that. Y'all already know how I feel about them secrets and shit. So, However, if it was that easy and it sounded that great and everybody was doing it, things would be a lot different and relationships it, would be a lot different and, and yeah, things wouldn't be the how they are. I'm working on with myself too, like vulnerability. I have huh? accepted oh, <laughs> what gosh. someone has told me in my last relationship. Not vulnerability. And I am working on it because apparently Be- I have an issue with being vulnerable. Okay, well, same. Sometimes. Mm. Man. Look here. Let's backtrack. I have an issue with being vulnerable with people who don't make me feel safe. Preach. So... That is I've it. I've been seeing a lot of things online too that have been touching on this, and I've been laughing. I'm about to say you like, vulnerable with me. Yeah, cause you my nigga. The fuck, like. Sh- and and same, you know what I'm saying. And then you know, yeah. there's people, but yeah, pe- because people just same. like in relationships, I meet you hoes, and y'all don't make me feel safe. Like, and then it's also what I don't like for, as someone who's not as vulnerable is somebody who is like, give me, give me, give me oh. your, give me oh. your softness, give me your vulnerability, give it to me, give it to me. Can you back the fuck up please and let me do this gently if it's not something I do easily why are you trying to pull it from me instead of letting me do it on my own time which is calmer which is more it's it's authentic yeah. and authentic we're missing the authenticness of this whole thing everybody just want it like this you don't even care if it's fake if what I'm giving you is fake just so you can say, I've given you my vulnerability, but it should not be that way. You should want me at Listen. my comments, me sitting here like, yo, like, I just really want to give to you right now. Like, I feel like I'm safe in this space and man, it's just flowing like that. Yeah. And you try to pull that shit out of me. I am shutting down. Crab. Swiftly. Shell. Shit. I might get defensive too. Crab shell. It's and the pinchers. Fact. The whole shebang. Yes, it because does. Because you're not about to come ra- rush me in my process and how I fucking... Like, no. And then... But people do do that. Yeah. And then they get upset with you for not being vulnerable. Okay, so now you're mad at me for not being vulnerable. Now you expect that I'm and going to be vulnerable? this is why I don't feel safe with your bitch ass. Question. <laughs> Whoa. But no, it's funny you say that because I'm thinking about, like, different, like, situations I've been in. And, like, now that I've actually, like, 
in my mind have thought about it and be like, damn, I really do have an issue with this. Like, this is something I really have an issue with. I thought about it because the person who brought it to my attention, mm-hmm. I don't know if they know this or not. Hey, if you listen to the podcast. Um, but I had a very, very vulnerable moment with them early in our relationship. Hmm. Early in our relationship. And they made me feel like a victim. And I didn't like that. So I shut the fuck down. Yeah. Because I, like, shared some shit with them. And they, like, I ain't no punk bitch, dog. Like, yeah, I just been through <laughs> you know some what shit. I'm like, I'm not what I've been through. Feel, like, exactly. that's it right there. I am not what I've been through. So it's like, I had a moment and it was close to a time frame that was, like, significant in my life or whatever. And, like, you know, that date rolled around and I was going through the fucking motions, mm-hmm. depression and all of that, whatever, whatever. And I shared it with them. Instead of, like, just shutting down and going in my room and not talking or whatever, I, like, fucking sat there and told them, like, mm-hmm. hey, this is. This what is what has it happened. is, yeah. X, Y, Z. And, you know, like, for a second, they seemed like there was da-da-da-da. Then they tried to, like, give me some speech about, like, standing up in my shit. And then, that's not what the fuck I needed right then and there. Oh, yo. Oh, and and that, you, and that shit make you want to be like, rewind the tape. Yep. <laughs> Take it back. Pretend this shit didn't happen. Pretend it never happened, because you... And I shut down after that. Mm-hmm. Like, I shut down, and, and there was nothing that could get me out of that, because I didn't feel safe with you anymore. But I think that's the biggest thing, where it's like, people want vulnerability from other people, but don't create the space for the vulnerability. You want to be Captain save hole Not everybody wants to be saved. Saved. That's it. Ain't nobody trying to be saved by no victim. I'm just trying to be, I'm just trying to, ex- you know, I'm, try- I'm trying to Let give you, you my story. Let you know what's going on. That don't mean I want you to save me. Yeah, that shit there, boy. When I tell you, I was hmm, swift, quickly, mm-hmm. shut down, gone. So, <laughs> so that's like another thing I've been seeing too. Like they're talking about like women being um submissive and like, you know, exactly. Like, okay. So oh God, I told you I've been on the dating apps, right? Well, I was. I'm on her. I got a question. As a I got a question. As someone who is not really in the know about these dating apps and stuff. I I know that. Vomit. But I I I I damn sure do know that. Okay. I yeah. Okay, well you're kinda answering the question (laughs) before I can even get to it, right? Because I was gonna ask you, I was gonna say like, what has the scene been like on these apps throughout the pandemic? Like everybody wants the vibe, nigga. We talked about this. <laughs> Can I just tell you how sick I am of this word vibe, vibe, vibe? Y'all have y'all. Oh, vibe. I don't want to say it no more. I'd be like the good vibe. This good vibe. That I don't want to hear vibe come anymore. Come catch a vibe. Come catch a vibe. What? What am I catching? What are we catching? If I got to come to you and you're telling me I'm catching something, <laughs> I may not be coming in your direction. What vibe are you handing out? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I don't like that yeah. word no more. But, yeah, so that's been a big thing also. Like, a lot of these profiles, oh, if you act like a man, da 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 mm, That's what, a red flag for Pause. Me. What do you mean if you act like a man? Okay, so a gentleman the other day, oh, do I have the conversation? Do I have the conversation? If you act like a man, I don't know, and I don't like where it's going. Mm. Because mm. it sounds like some... Some, it sounds like a bitch ass nigga. Yeah, it sounds like some little nigga shit know. to me. Mm. Oh gosh, where is it? Oh, oh, he want a woman to play small, huh? Ooh. Oh no, we're not doing that. Where is it? Oh, we're not doing that. Women's, uh, yes, I said women's. Women's in twenty twenty two. Don't play it small with these oh, niggas, okay? Here it goes. Oh. Smack these niggas. No, let me stop. No violence, but smack these niggas. Like these niggas. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, if y'all read this or listen, oh well. They said, well, they said a bunch of shit. Mm-hmm. And then the part that stood out to me was, I don't think a man wants a woman that takes on the attributes of a man to commit to. A woman that takes on the attributes of a man. And a bumper clap, what that mean? <laughs> so, my response, of course, is, I feel as a lot of men don't realize that if a woman, most, not all, quote unquote, takes on the attributes of a man, it's out of fear or defense or as a means to protect themselves because they don't feel safe with said man. I was going to say because the man ain't manning. Exactly. And I thought about it, right? Because remember I said, I'm you know I'm in a phase of my life where, listen, I, 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 I might want to settle down. You know, I'm going to find a real relationship. You know, I might want some little babies running around and I don't believe in, well, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I myself, I'm not mm-hmm. interested in being anybody's baby's mother. Wife me. Thank you. I'm going to go get my little sperm and go on about my business. It's one of the two. 
So, with that being said, you know, I am dating intentionally at this point in my life. So, if you're telling me you don't want to do X, Y, Z, then what is that telling me about you? That's a red flag for me if you're telling me this. Because it's like, are you a bitch? Like, why are women taking on attributes as a man while involved with you, a man? Like, why are you not making them feel safe enough to be soft with you? Listen. What is... And, no, no, no. I think about myself in these situations, though, when I hear this, because I'm like... I've had men in relationships. Oh, you know why? Tell you me. know I've heard every every time I've heard this. You I know act that. Like a nigga. You know that. You too much of a man. You think you the man in this relationship? No. Why you don't friggin' take off your panty? Listen. You're a bitch. Don't don't get me <laughs> crossed up. <laughs> because you're a every bitch. time you tell, listen, yeah. I hate that shit so bad. It used to make me so upset. It used to make me so upset because it's like, what kind of nigga are you? A bitch. What kind of... I don't understand. What you mean? Like... Insecure. So you can't have a woman that's strong, solid in her own, but you want somebody that's up under you and sir and oh my gosh. But and, and this your mama. Today's man. Yeah, right. I mean, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. As... You don't mind having your woman, obviously, and she, and she you. give nurturing. you that... Yes. Yeah, that nurturing vibe, right? And at the same time... You know, that's your, yeah. that's my girl. That's my spook. This is my, you know, we good. Yes, spooky. <laughs> you know, that's my spook, you know, and there's certain things that bounce, but not these niggas, yeah, not these right. niggas out in these streets. I don't know. They want interested. you to be a certain way and not a certain way at the same time. Listen, listen to me. Okay. That relationship, that last one, I purposely stopped cooking because I realized. Stop feeding these niggas, girl. Yeah, you had too good for you. I feed just, just so so. Don't be feeding. These, don't be feeding. Oh these no! Niggas. After that, I made a vow not to cook for no nigga. Hello. And like, if you have never cooked for me, or like, if I cook for you one time and nothing don't come after that, I'm not cooking for you again. Like, it's gonna be a mutual thing. I feed you, you feed me. I dig it. Vice versa. Right. Yes. Yes. I just can't. Me want to stop feeling your belly, so just. Stop Aha, kitchen there we bitch go. Gone. Yeah, not the kitchen, kitchen bitch. Kitchen bitch gone. I am <laughs> the kitchen bitch. Wait, wait. It's the finger nail? No, y'all can't cook. No, no. I'm not taking no long finger nail. No, don't play now. I'm making no yam and banana. No, I can't cook. Every time somebody asks me nowadays if I can cook, I just say I've survived. Because I'm not going to lie. 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 i am not going to lie i am not going to lie i am not going to lie i I could make great breakfast, but I could make a few things. Listen, I keep it like that. I tell people I have survived. That's it. I have survived. That's all you need. That's to know. what you need to do because them people you tell I look everything. Them I look but food you want soup. Go suck your mama pussy wall. <laughs> Anyways, help. I feel ignorant. I ain't been on a podcast in a minute. Oh so my god. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I ain't got time for that shit. It's a dub. It's That's a what dub. I was saying. Listen, 2022, ladies, do not let these niggas try to small you up or none of that shit and make you feel like you too much of a woman or you're too much, you're too strong, you're too this. You, we been strong because we got to be, and that's just what it is. But don't, don't let no nigga small you up, especially if a, but if a nigga don't make you feel safe, don't drop your damn guard. Period. And like... <sighs> Me. I don't want to My be thing, strong no everybody more. don't want to sit around and be strong. It's not what you want to do, mm-hmm. but sometimes it's what you have to do because it is what needs to be done. Like that's just yeah. what it is. I'm We've all been in a position where you like, damn, you don't want to be strong no more. You'd rather just whatever. But baby me. What's the cost of you letting down your guard? Yeah. Listen, I will follow you to the end of the earth until you I see we headed in the direction of a ditch. I'm jumping ship. You can't go in that ditch by yourself. <laughs> I am jumping shit. That's a bitch. In a ditch, in a gully, in a crisis, <laughs> trash, fuckery. No, I'm not following it's you. Like, come, back. No, come, no, back. No, come no, back. No, 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 no. Come back. Come back. Gas. Come back. No, <laughs> no. Shep, like, wait. You might want to come back. <laughs> nah. Just give you a warning. You might want to come back. But I'll always grab you after this. <laughs> yeah, I'm not interested in that. And it's like, I. That's what where the blocking thing comes in, too. It's like, now that I'm dating intentionally, mm-hmm. the fuck we're not keeping up again. So like the what list man, them women that I spend time with and wait name and what to that done. When the free people bun. If Burnt. you can't listen. And I love it, because I hate y'all. <laughs> hate y'all niggas. 
Like after a week and a half, if you getting on my nerves, yo, I'm I'm just not responding no more. I hate the idea of ghosting people. I love it. Get them no, but but I like when they they respect the ghost though. Like I don't respond, you don't respond. Listen, we both know this shit ain't going nowhere. Bet good. No awkward conversations need to happen. It's cool. Sometimes, but, yes. If it's as easy as yeah. that, it's early sometimes stages. Early where stages. sometimes it's not. Listen, wait, I might be hot now. Yeah, it's I'm like the liquor, the the, the liquor is touching me, and I don't even know what to do about it. Yo, all right. I'm about to go turn on this fan. It's warm. All right. Mm-mm. They are. <laughs> all right. This nigga stripping on Facetime. Listen, you dig, okay? Because it's what your eyes only. <laughs> wet, 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 wet. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, so you can't sing no. <laughs> wow. Anyways, oh. it's like a nigga do a little, just a little interlude, just a little doop 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 doop, and then here you go. I said one little song earlier. You was talking shit. <laughs> Listen, I dropped one little beep 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 beep, and here you go. Can't do nothing. <laughs> shit. However, yeah. Boundaries. All of that. I feel like we've been talking about boundaries for so long though. A lot of for people a, haven't a- approached this part of their life though. This is true. But also I feel like people were stuck inside and mm-hmm. then they came out and they forgot what the hell boundaries mm-hmm. were. And I need everybody to find them shits back. Yep. Find them back. And stay in your just stay in your lane. Like I don't know. I don't like to be bothered with too many people these days in the first place. I'd be in and out and out and in and and in my little bubble or Mm -hmm. taking a nap or something. I don't... Yeah, I'm not interested. Draw the line, man. Yep. Yeah. Another thing I've been seeing a lot online that have, like, warmed my heart a little bit, but at the same time, like, annoyed me is the whole, like, black woman in luxury thing and, like, you know, women pursuing their desires, etc. And... As a black woman, as a as a, as black, a black woman, I don't I as like, a black female um <laughs> thing, human being, I guess mm, sometimes something when I feel like it. This is what that, I'm saying. During that time of the month, I individual guess. <laughs> as a black individual, you know, feminine presenting, <laughs> kinda, <laughs> whatever. Right. Um. Yes, I think a lot of us, um, depending on how we were raised are ingrained with the idea that you just work, 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 and you can't spend money frivolously because something might happen. You know, you have to put money aside for the rainy day or, like, mm-hmm. you have to be responsible. Buy a house, buy a car, make sure your kids are good or whatever the case is. But when it comes to, like, spending on yourself and the things that you want, it's kind of like, mm, no, put towards other people first before you do for yourself. And a lot of us do that. Even if you have children, even if you don't have children, mm-hmm. the money sit on for what? You know what I'm saying? And I was talking to Nai about this the other day. She mm-hmm. was like, dog, I'm about to start buying like hella purses. Big up chef now. Yes. And I was like, nigga, but I was like, listen, I have a couple of telfies, you know, y'all don't see me pop out with the telfies, but me have a couple of telfies put on. <sighs> me no buy a bag. You know? But just I said. Bad man no buy a bag. <laughs> you know, so it's like, we work hard at the end of the day. Strong black woman. Ray Tay Tay. We boss. I'm here heels, for y'all luxury. Whatever. I'm always here for the black woman luxury. You as know? long as everything is taken care of, luxury oh, of your ass off. But of it's course. it but it's but my problem and my hmm. issue is is when other goes. things is not taken care of and you out here luxury, luxury, luxury. Now remember it's none of my business coming to live where you live. <laughs> I'm gonna eat where you eat. <laughs> but still I feel like sister, that might not be the right order. You out here trying to live in luxury, and then you don't even have your bases covered. Don't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out This is what I'm saying. It's it's like you just out here. You you luxurious. You big dog. Like you have, you have, um. Homeless. What they call them bag? What they love? What they bag? What they love? Birkin. I didn't say that. You have a Birkin. I ain't a Birkin money for putting that Birkin. They're fake. Okay, so you have a Firkin. So you have a Firkin. I don't have Firkin money to put in the Mm Firkin. Because even the Firkins cost money. Remember, me personally, as a individual I'm not calling myself because you know sometimes you know yeah. they go up and down with me I don't really you know sometimes but because I don't understand the bag thing because I don't one bag on them something that it's kind of like if you really about to go spend 3k on a bag and your shit ain't right if everything is right by all means sister buy your bag because that's what you like because if I have the money and everything is taken care of can't nobody tell me well cat don't go buy 
this new th- this new music system. Don't go buy a new don't go buy <laughs> turntables. <laughs> don't go buy speakers. Don't go buy a new a new headphones game or something. Some shit. new headphones cuz that's my thing. Mm. But just make sure it makes sense and don't be trying to have people to finance your luxury that you cannot mm. finance yourself, sister. So they can't take it back when they offset. It's one thing. All right, say you have your mind. Cool, you have your mind, and, he, and he's giving for you, and he, you know, he giving you this, and he want to give you that because you his shorty, you his woman, and he want to make sure you got he got it, and he want to make sure you good. Or your but girl, whichever. can you also do this for yourself, even a little bit, even a little bit? Because sometimes part. you won't be able to do the full amount because maybe he got it like that. Mm-hmm. But can you do even the least bit for yourself? To make this nigga even feel like he wanna add the rest. No, y'all be coming to the plate, to the table with just the plate. Yes. No meat. No sides. No veggies, no nothing. Not even like a starch. Not even a dressing. Okay? <laughs> Not even like a water. Plate, no fork. <laughs> y'all looking at shit. Hands in, nothing. Just... Plate, no fork. Just looking at, yeah. Yo. Well, I hate when you could tell people ain't never had shit. Nah, let's not do this. Let's not do this. Let's not do this. We're not Let's do not it? do this. Okay. No, no, no. I want you to do it. That means <laughs> when I say don't do it, that means you're supposed to do it. Listen, but I understand sometimes a struggle life tech when we're younger and we come up and we get little dollars. Pause. I can't, I can't. I can't. I can't. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Not me. I can't agree. But not try both or nothing, but you know, my parents made sure that different situations, different people have different situations. Same. Whatever. However, you were, when I said minute rich, minute I grew up. But you are blessed. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, minute I really didn't blessed want and taken care of, and you didn't really want for anything. Yes. Carry it right. Boom. Some people do. Not so the fortunate. Same situation, even in the same situation. Coming at them get like a change. Oh, oh Jesus man, oh, man, oh man, where people have never had nothing. Boy, y'all boy, start boy. showing y'all ass. Boy, boy, boy. Your whole naked, unwashed ass. Now nah, I want to go to Prime. I want to go to STK. I want to go to Ruth Chris. I want to go here. Every day of the damn week. Tra la la, y'all got it. Listen, listen, I feel it. I get the whole steak thing. I guess y'all ain't never knew steak and existed. Lobster. Okay. That's fine. And we call it, wait, next one, Niam. We're the cooking front of you. Benny Hanna. Uh, the Benny Hanna. Y'all. I've been to Benny Hanna's once. In my life, and I was like, "Oh, I promise you, you could find food. me at the corner spot, like the ghetto Chinese spot, before the you find best. me at Benihana. I assure you. But any to each their own. Still, but some of you act like yeah, I never, ever, 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 ever had this stuff before, and, and it's, they never go get it again. And stop posting these damn receipts, please. I'm, oh, we still posting the receipts. Listen, listen, to let people know I had a steak and a margarita. I don't care. With the cost of no one cares, and we're we're glad that you're eating well. We're glad that you're eating. You understand what I'm saying? Yo, but yo, give us a break. 1942 was running the pandemic, my nigga. How about I still haven't had it? And, uh, me either. Still and haven't had it. The Casamigos. I haven't had Casamigos. Casamigos. Casamigos okay. That's the, I still ain't had no damn yeah. Casamigos. I ain't had no 1940. None of that shit. What's the Azula? Whatever the fuck, the blue and white bun buckle, and I had white buckle with the blue something. The that's the thing. Like, that's um, the 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 bing bing. That's the is that the Casamigos? No, Casamigos is the one in that clear buckle where everybody I go fuck with mad bow. No, <laughs> Casamigos a, Casamigo is the pretty store. one, and not the blue and white. The pretty Two one. That's Casamigos. That's Casamigos. You see, you, you see when you don't see, know what the hell going that's on. I don't care. The, and honestly, I don't be hip to the to the oh, trends, right. y'all. I don't. I have never had no 1942, no Casamigos. Oh, I listen. I stick to my rum. I am a rum nigga, and I drink my rum. Okay, like that's it. Come on, that's about it. I go on some. I try Google. What was I going to say as well? On top of that, the receipts, right? Oh shit! I feel as though. No, does it come from a place? Maybe with some people of like, I ain't never had it. I ain't never had it. I'm sorry, my search results came up in Spanish. That's freaking crazy! (laughs) Like, yo, (laughs) what happened? Like, what? (laughs) What, (laughs) bro? The whole damn thing came up in Spanish. Why are my results in Spanish? I can't. But it's Clase Azul. That's that one. That's not the Casamigos. That's that one. Casamigos is the next one. Girl. Which I don't and know. Then this, I ain't Casamigos. Ha- 
Who? Not to a different one. Though. Okay, I yeah, don't. That's yeah, whichever the all three. I don't know. Y'all was wilding and it, y'all was having y'all. y'all was having a great time on that stuff. All types of crazy stuff I saw happening though mm-hmm. when y'all was drinking the Casamigos all over the place, fighting. Huh. Um, all types of stuff all out and about. If that's what it's making y'all do, I'm cool. I'm good. I'm gonna stick to what I know and what makes me feel safe. Ray and nephew overproof rum. Mm. Appleton for the boss, you know. I mean, we're drinking Appleton tonight, but still. Because you, at, you cut me because you you Sorry, telemundo my ass. Now, my thing is, <laughs> what I was know. saying was the receipt, mm. my nigga. I was saying the receipt. I feel like maybe some some people, I'm trying to see where they come from with this. Maybe they haven't had it or they wanted it for so long that it's like, oh my gosh, yo, I got to show the world like this is what I'm doing now. The world doesn't care though. Share it with your friends. I know that and you know that, right? But to them, to whoever's doing that, it's like, hey, boom, you see me now? Or, you know, maybe some people got some people to start on too that doubted them as well and they want to show out. That's another thing. It's not for me personally because I don't need you to know where I eat. Period. I don't need you to know where I sleep, which is why I don't post my house. I don't need to post where I live. I don't post what I'm eating, what I'm drinking, all these things. When pop up, people pop up on y'all and rob y'all, y'all don't know what happened because y'all post every damn thing. Unless it's home cooked. You know what I'm saying? That's different. Y'all like me a good... Po- but not type of... People just post everything too. There's no privacy at all. But about this receipt, what were we talking about earlier? Splitting the bill with your friends? Hear me now. You go ahead. Listen, Go ahead and take it. Listen, listen. I got three friends, right, that y'all hear me talk about on a regular, right? I mean, there's other people speckled around, but my three besties, <laughs> right? Not speckled. The, yeah, the, the speckles. Not right? speckles. First of all, who the fuck is splitting a bill when they go out with their friends? <clears throat> like... Okay. It's a bit rough. This is my thing, right? It's rough. Usually me and my friends go out. Somebody invited somebody out. And mm-hmm. we are all collectively unspoken on the same thing. Like, yo, if I invite you out, I'm paying. If I say, yo, let's go down the street, go da 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 I'm paying. Mm-hmm. Right? Of course, somebody will be like, oh, no, let me give you $20 on that. Let me, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. Right? Because, I mean. Yeah, because we were raised with some kind of little something, but we. Mm-hmm. Y'all be talking about how, oh, I'm never going out with them again because we had this and all I had was freaking toast and water. And all, I I had, all I had was the bread on the table <laughs> and the water. Like an inmate. <laughs> it, Why did you go? It, first of all, you know what I like to see? I don't like to see the damn receipt. No. With the names on the side. Now, the, the server came to get the receipt and got to do a whole... Bunch of math and all types of shit because you got names written on the receipt. It's ghetto, y'all. Very. It's ghetto. First of all, if y'all going out and y'all know the place might be a little expensive, I advise y'all to probably look at the menu beforehand that. so you can pick what you might want so you can know what your pocket can afford before you get there. And what do y'all do? Y'all could do these things beforehand. Like, you know, your meal going to be like, $60, $70, go ahead and run the 100 because you know you're going to add some tax and all that stuff and you paying tip. Am I wrong? Exactly. And you send it ahead of time and it pay off one person card and y'all move. But y'all friends don't be y'all friends. So In real life, y'all friends for the gram because y'all look good together when y'all do them group pictures with Okay, and be bitches. over there, okay, hookah, ooh, mm, blue, blow, hey sis. Hey. hey sis, yeah, and you and sis can't go out to eat because sis can't afford her bill. What you want? No, nope. me and fifteen bitches in one room together, and we all friends. I don't know about all that. That's a lot of estrogen. First of all, pause. Why are you and fifteen bitches in one room? <laughs> Why do you have fifteen friends that you could say? Listen, acquaintances and and this and that friend, my top ball friend. Friend, but this is the thing: y'all go out and eat with anybody, and y'all mm. gonna sit with anybody, mm. and y'all gonna talk with anybody anyway. I don't play them kind of games. The people I break bread with, figuratively, I literally break bread with break financially bread. in real life. Break bread. I'm not going out to eat with a bunch of bitches that I don't know for real. I don't like for but real. But listen, you gotta remember these are the same girls that go out on dates with talking strangers. about people. They was just talking about oh, Sharon yes. and then be eating across from Sharon yes. or like Sharon man and be playing Ooh. with Sharon man. So you can't really trust these women mm-hmm. out here because they different. Sharon man in the DMs. 
this is what I'm saying. And then be a, be across talking about, hey, friend, hey, friend. Oh, you cute friend. No. No. Yeah, no. I'm not into them play play friends, the Instagram friends, the Twitter friends. The frenemies. Yeah, I'm not into that. None, yeah. of, none of that Miss stuff. Me with it. None of that. So I don't just go sit around and eat with anybody just because yeah, you know, people be like on trips with people too that y'all don't know or don't like. About hey. these trips and then come and then come back pissed off about these. How you going on trips with people? I don't know you. First of all, in the world we live in, do you see what be happening to these people when they go off with other people? People end up missing. People don't come back. You don't know these people. I don't. I just. I'm too cautious Especially for certain shit. Especially with large groups. Listen, the only you know my large group. My large group is literally family. I can't do it. My mother has been friends with the mother of the other the people, people in the large group that I like since they were nine years old. That is my large group right there. My best friend in her family. I my don't. best friend in their family. Those are the large my family. Those are the lar- family, literal family. You or know, you know the adopted you know those family. Pick up friend. Yeah, no. People pick up friend like say. Listen, I can't trust nobody who don't have no friendships that's been over ten years long. All your friends you just met two years ago? That's a different one, too. Everybody? You don't know none of them people you have from high school or college or nothing. Yeah, you're in their 30s. And you just meet them. In a sense, the relationship dead and people That's what I was going to say. That's what I was going to say. Because some but relationships, nobody? some friendships and relationships just come to... Yeah. You know what I mean? You get to a point in life and it's just like a break off. It happens to all of us. Yeah. Right? I just feel like either you got poor judgment or you just got <laughs> shit ways. Solved. Or that. Cause mm-hmm. you in your thirties, you ain't got no. Or you're not a good judge. Or you're just not a good judge yeah. of character. Shitty judgment, or mm-hmm. just yeah, like fuck her. Because y'all going listen, listen. When I go on vacation with people, right? It's very rare. I'm mean, not like going away with nobody, right? Dog. We we. I will jump on the plane and I will meet you there because you ain't lying. You, I don't know how you walk through the airport. I don't know if you are organized Bro. and you pack your things accordingly you, to TSA guidelines. You said something with that traveling with people. <sighs> I don't know if you get to the airport on time or if you run into the You gate can't just minute. be traveling with anybody mm-hmm. either because people are annoying as hell. Mm-mm. Me? Why you got stuff in your pocket you about to walk through the If damn I day. can travel, I prefer to travel by myself Same. or with one other person. <laughs> one other person. Like when it starts to get too much, not kids, not kids. That's mm-hmm. a the whole different thing. Yeah. But when it gets to like two adults, three adults, four adults, it starts to get Cause people not moving as fast as I mm-hmm. like. Cause I get into the airport, I put my headphones on, I get we the little boarding pass, walking. and I get to it. Yeah. I get to the gate. Like I don't play that. People want to drag and ooh and ah. Uh, can we just get to the gate? I want to get to this flight, baby. I don't like to be running. I don't do that. I like to get to the airport. Early I don't do too. this little run, the little run to the gate, the little home alone run to the gate. I don't <laughs> like that. I don't like that. I like to sit and they'd be like, Relax. okay, so and such flight one, two, three, four is boarding now, bitch. Yeah. And I'm rising up out my seat because I know I'm good. Like people just want to be running in. Oh, your flight's about to take off, bitch. You can't go in. The door's closed. Yeah, no. I'm Listen, let me knock on wood. I ain't never missed no flight in my life. I have, I was younger, but it wasn't my fault. That's big different. people, and that As was different. An adult. You know how we go from going from country back in the ideas to yeah. Kingston. You know how that was. Mm. That was a different story. That's no a highway. Who? Exactly my point. But people go places like, how am I flying out of the Lie. country? I missed one flight one time, but that's because I had a meeting with Spice. We'll talk about that later. Okay. <laughs> it's how like yes, you're you're Spice. flying out of the country. These Spice, you flying out the country on a trip, right? Let's say you and your person, right? And then y'all meeting up with other couples. Wait a goddamn minute. Have nope. you met anybody? Have you, you, you just know your person? I cannot do that. Nope. It's not, I can't do that. First and foremost, I am not friendly. I can't do that. That's the first part. Unsafe. That's the first part. Um, y'all be getting these Airbnbs and whatever with like 50 people in the house. Y'all don't know who be clean, who wash their ass, who do dishes, who cook. You know how that be when they come down to Miami. <laughs> 50 bitches in one room. When they like, used to come to the yams. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta take turns in the shower because it's 10 of y'all. Like, 20 what? to the room in the yams. Y'all got two freaking beds in there. Like, what, what, what? Somebody sleeping on the couch. Like, y'all be doing a lot. Like... <laughs> Like, y'all be doing a lot in these hotels just to take pictures on the beach and say you was there. You and 50 other people, they don't count. Well, everybody pay $5 a night? What's, what's, Ooh. I'm not watching nobody pockets now. Don't Ooh. get me wrong. And I hope nobody don't get it's a little just, feelings hurt care. either. Listen, if you do I what you can you, afford. What's up? Hit me up. 
You, but, um, oh my gosh. My bro. thing is, right? Y'all do this to post pictures to keep up appearances for who? Live within your means. That just is because- the, but that's the world we live in. You know this. I'm an alien. It's all about keeping up with appearances. It's about doing what is happening because this is what's happening. It's not about doing what you like, what you genuinely like. It's about people seeing me and acknowledging it's, oh my gosh, everybody needs to be visible. Yeah, it's tiring, bro. Listen, I, I just am... live here. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, because me, dog, I just live yeah. here on the side, bro. Honestly, I'm not interested. Hey, this one girl, right? Like you with? No, let's go to Tulum. Tulum, my ass. No one got Tulum. Hold on, listen. I have no issue going to Tulum, <laughs> but I am not going to go to Tulum when everybody is going to Tulum. Tulum is going to be America. I cannot deal with it. I don't like I do. stuff like that. I do not know, Russ. I will not go to Pagan's Gold. Mm-hmm. I will not do it. I will not do it. I don't care. Obviously, I feel the same way in real life because I didn't go to Tulum. I'm one of those people that they, oh, you try your hardest to go against the grain. No, no. I just don't like it and I don't care for it. And just and y'all like, oh, someone such went here and did this, so I got to go here and do this. Every pan lick on a jump. What goes for she don't have to go for me, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. And I'm going to stand on that too. Listen, That's just who I am. Me, so can never be on for me. Okay. This is all I'm saying. And if we forgot to loom, what guess what's gonna happen? Mega reach to loom. Yeah. If it's that serious. I'm not stressing nothing like that. I'm not running behind to go somewhere to post. Let's not talk about people who we done caught who claimed they was in Tulum and wasn't in nobody Tulum. Hmm. Liars. <sighs> claimed they was in Tulum and then we peep. You in Miami? Oh. Uh see. See, because the GPS on the on the apps, they won't let you lie all day. Because I'm going to say I'm in Botswana. Instead of just living your good life and saying you was in Miami. Mm-hmm. You wanted to be like, I was in Tulum because other people were in Tulum. Man, I just wish there was more. But I feel like it's getting worse and worse. Like, it's just a thing. Like, I people said, this is this. So I got to go here. And I want to do this. And I want to do this. At the end of the day, be who you are. Somebody's going to love you for you. You don't want to have to live your life looking for love as somebody else. Because at the end of the day, when all that shit said and done and you all on pop dung, who's going to be there? And you can't hold that shit for but so long. Exactly. That Listen, that sounds like my three-month that grace ma- period. That mask falls right the fuck off. Okay. Once you get comfortable, bloop. I got a three-month grace period with people. If if you make it to three months, either you a really good faker, which is very hard to come by. Very hard. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or I'm actually seeing who you are. Like, within three months, I'm usually like, oh, it's a dub, up, oh, it's a dub, it's a dub. If you make it past the three months, all right. And then I realized, too, relationships, my three-year mark. I don't make it to the three-year mark. That's when shit start getting real. Yeah, when you get to, like, friend. Two yeah, listen. friend. But I also, like I said. Yeah. Fr- I was not dating intentionally previously. So I was literally picking up stringing. Yeah, that, that mark right there is a... Yeah, like that's is an itch. That's when shit starts getting nice, real. It's a nice that itch. That two to three, that second year, everything is like yeah, oh, it starts to get itchy. Yeah, that yeah. honeymoon phase don't wore off. Shit, is, especially if y'all live together, shit start getting real, real, real. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, do I really want to deal with this person? I haven't seen how you spend your finances. I haven't seen your hygiene. You get habits. to the like, you get to see, you know you get to that you. part. You get to that high, high, high break off. Like if I'm breaking off, I gotta break off now. Yeah, like the height of the break off. Like this is late. For break off, but it's the last of the break off. If I'm, yeah. if I'm not breaking off here, then shit, we gonna see. But you're gonna see anyway. It'll usually fall yeah. apart months after if it does, yeah. but. Yeah, like I realized, me and my boy was talking about that. I was like, yo, I ain't never been in a relationship for three years straight. Child. I done got very close. Close. A <laughs> very close. And then I was like, mm. I think a lot of people can relate to that. Mm. There's something like, about that, that, there's something about that. Two going into three years. That's the shit. That's a long before time. you pop into the five year stretch. Woo-hoo. That three year is like so. Um, what we gonna do? One was cute. Now we're at three. We're not at five. But what's, what's up? What's good? Yeah. How you feel about people that's like together for like five years and not married? Like how old are they? Were they dating like from high school? Were they dating from like college? Let's say they was late twenties. Late twenties, like twenty eight, twenty nine. Why are they not married? Are they waiting for finances or something? Like, they what, just what? ain't married. Are both people interested in being married? That don't. Yeah, sense. I mean, it's in their plans to get married, but I guess they're, you know, they're working and doing what they need to do, and da 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 da. So that's why they're not completely focused on the marriage aspect as yet. Are they living together? 
There's so many questions because these, these things all matter. They are living together. Ugh. They are living together. Let's say they believe in, I want to live with you before I actually... Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, firm believers. Firm believers. No puss in a bug. Period. <laughs> Period. Full stop. Yes. So, they, let's say they live together, mm-hmm. and that's great, but they're just not married just yet. Late 20s? I can't get them up like that. If you're talking like 30s and like y'all like... And y'all both want to get married and like... Yeah, they want to get married, both... but they're just... Right now, they, they doing... You know what I'm and saying? I, listen, this is my thing. Right? I'm not going to dictate how anybody's supposed to live their life. If both people are on the same page and it works for them, ball the fuck out. Ball the fuck out. Now, if you're in a situation where one person wants to get married right now and the other person is like, mm, let's wait, y'all have to meet somewhere in the middle on that. Because you can't pressure nobody to do nothing before their time. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, you can't expect nobody to wait for you to catch up to when you're ready. You right. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like it's a matter of like having communication and meeting somewhere in the, the common middle. ground. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because... At the end of the day, I'm going to be that guy. So, them two relationships that ended before the three-year mark, both of those people was talking marriage with me. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> If you could see how you nev- I never said that we were having a conversation about marriage. They were having a conversation with marriage. Ah, me. Yeah. I wasn't ready for that. I yeah. wasn't ready to be married at that time. I wasn't... I don't know what it was. I just knew that in myself, I wasn't prepared to be married. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't going to entertain that conversation and try to lead nobody on to think, yeah, 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 we're going to get married. Like, there was a glimmer of hope in one of those situations. Because they shine. Where, they shine. Yeah. And come blind you real quick. <laughs> Blinded is the right word. And I felt like I might have wanted to, you know, mm-hmm. spend extended amounts of my life and existence with this person. Yeah. But, like, in all reality, I knew we weren't compatible. It was no, like, and that's a problem, too. Like, people stay in relationships because they're comfortable, not because they're compatible. Mm -hmm. You can't force compatibility at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So, like, a lot of times I see people in relationships and they're like, oh, yeah, this, you know, it's my person. Y'all don't really like each other. Y'all just been together so long, this shit's just comfortable. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, the topic of, like, getting married after being together for a long time... I don't believe marriage is. Or you can easily like each other and not be compatible too. Yes, absolutely. You can go a bunch of different ways. Listen, compatibility is like a real thing, and people be Mm -hmm. like, "Oh, you you can't force that shit." And that be rough on a lot because it'd be like, "You like this person, like I truly do like you as a person, but we're just not compatible." Mm -hmm. And that should be like, "Oh my god, this the fucking pits." But bitch, suck it up. (laughs) You know my favorite line: "Just because you love somebody, don't mean you're supposed to be together." I'm a very firm believer in that. Cause yes, babes, I love you, but listen. I don't like how you manage your money, you know? Right. I don't like how you ain't about to deal with each other. I don't like how X, Y, Z, I can't get behind this, this and this and this. You know? And it's not even just that. Little things. Like, the fact that I am very big on love languages. Early stages, I'm asking you, what's your love language? I hate when people act like I'm asking them something far-fetched. Mm-hmm. When ask, I've had people come at me like, oh, why are you asking me this? Motherfucker, do you want to be loved properly or not? I just want to know how the fuck to love you, you dumb bitch. Like, mm. what? <laughs> like, now you're stupid and now I don't want to talk to you ever again. Oh my because, gosh. Because, like, why are you offended? I'm asking you, nigga, just go take the test. You got two, you're going to be on Instagram doing nothing. Just go, just, just go answer the questions. Go answer the questions. Because you're trying to get into their feelings. Oh, you're, I don't, listen. Trying don't to, to get know, into their feelings. I don't need to know how you answer the questions. I don't need to know the answers to your questions. None of that. I just mm-hmm. want to know at the end of the day, you like physical touch? You like words of affirmation? Quality time. Gifts of what? Gifts, acts of service. What? Oh, I hate people. Get, oh, food is my love language. Mm-hmm. That's there's five. That's not one of them. Let's oh, try it again. Oh, fat ass. <laughs> like, oh, greedy bitch. Like, Yo, <laughs> talking about food is my love. Get a grip. Like, grow shut up. up. <laughs> grow up because what? No. Yeah. So, like, that's my thing. Like, you know, like, I have these three things that I always, like, ask people early on. Like, hey, BDM, BDSMtest.org. I Not the know. BDSM <laughs> test. Do y'all... Yeah, she really do be doing that. Do y'all Listen. be sending out... Let, like, y'all could tell us or whatever, whatever. Do y'all send out BDSM? Is that something... When how Like, how soon do you do that? Early. Early, early. I Within don't, the first I don't. couple weeks. Okay. 
Okay. Within the first, so, especially depending on how the conversation goes. So the first couple of weeks, you're sending out the BDSM test, right? And this is just to make sure you guys are sexually okay. compatible or can get there. Okay. So so suppose somebody does a test, right? And you've been and, it's not gonna work. And it's just like completely maybe opposite of what you thought. Are you completely cutting off the situation from there? Or are you going to go further to see if maybe uh, it's just a this test? This is my thing, right? This is my thing. Because <laughs> I have sent this test many a time. Right? I told you I didn't. went on the dating apps. I've been setting this shit out because I don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. I need to know. Especially these hoes be horny and they want to talk shit. Oh, you freaky? Let me find out how freaky you are. I hate Can we not with the freaky thing? I hate because people tell me they're freaky. You know people I hate say they shit. freaky. Because you like a sloppy blowjob. Get the and fuck out of here. Because they want a sloppy blowjob. Get the fuck out of what here. What is this, 1999? Real sex? They want a two. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is this? Listen. <laughs> My bunny ranch. What's the, what was the other shit? Cat house? Taxi cab confession. <laughs> <laughs> Like what the fuck is that? Like listen. a slap? I'm okay. Okay. Listen, okay. Listen, y'all talking about y'all like y'all freaky. Okay, listen to me. Okay, I'm not trying to say I'm a freak. I personally hate that word. But the minute you tell me some shit like, oh, I'm a freak or I'm da da da. What da-da-da. is a freak? Me no no. You are freaking your booty hole. That was re- that just came out like that. My but bad. It's true. You a freak or your booty hole? Like y'all. Oh, you no. don't know the smell of it on your upper lip. You's not <laughs> hey. a freak. You don't know. You are that not a freak. Fresh, if you, flesh exactly. Smell. If you're not laying there after with a little smell on your upper <laughs> lip and you like, damn, I can't lick this thing or I can't get this thing off, you are not a freak. I don't want to hear nothing. Like, y'all not eating it like y'all like it. Don't do that. Let me stop because people will try to tell me I'm not no type of freak. First of all, I didn't say to anybody I was not a freak, but I don't like foot. And I'm not. <laughs> We're going to talk about foot on every episode. Because everybody had a boundaries. But, right? Everybody has their boundaries. That doesn't mean that they're not. Mm hmm. Into some things, but yeah. everybody have something that's just like, yeah, I'm cool on that. Yeah, you're not. You feel me? That's just not my. I am not a urinal. You are not peeing on me. You're not defecating on me. I'm not. Interested not in... defecating. I'm not interested in any blood or uh, regurgitation. Matt, tell none of that. Wait, like home. vomit? Yes. People vomit by you. Yeah, but that's something there. That's yes. that's no. Some not... people in them something. None not of that. the shitting, the vomiting, the peeing. No, I don't want to see the excessive blood. Hold right. on, you're like the pee real. thing though, like. I pee on them. <laughs> hey, hey, if you still want people for you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. Send me a message, part of Quiet List Talks, uh, Twitter. Can okay? y'all please not do that? At please do not do that. Please P-O-I-N-T. do not do that. Do not. Hey, stop it. Do... May, I talk to, may I talk to somebody specifically? You know, may I talk to you? May I talk to you? Yeah, if you still want people for you. Oh my gosh, know. because I hope this is not who I think it is. <laughs> it is. And if it is who I think it is, you are disgusting. <laughs> y'all are disgusting. Forget about it. Come and people find you. Yeah. Nigga, in good, good 2000, what was that, 2022, you still being discussing like this? Why are you just, are you kink shaming? Yeah, let me not, let me not, let me not kink shame. Y'all get me out of here like Dave Chappelle. Let me not, <laughs> let me not kink shame. Let me not say nothing bad about nobody because I ain't got time for it. But if you ain't a freak, I don't know. What, what is a freak? What like is a word. freak, right? Listen. That's what it would start as. What's a freak? And that's the problem with me and dating also because I, I've had my whole phase. I done did a little this and a little that, a little this and a little that. I know what I like. I know what I enjoy. I know what I will tolerate sexually. I know what I'm open to trying as well. Facts. A lot of y'all ain't never did shit. Y'all ain't never had no threesome. But they freaks. But they freaks though. But they freaks though. Nobody booty. You they never freaks used a though. Sex toy. They freaks you though. You ain't never sucked a toe. You ain't never licked the asshole. You ain't never. Have Hold on, pause, face. pause. Let me just let her know. If y'all ain't never touched no feet, you're still exempt and you can still be a freak, okay? I'm just, just, say, just, just you're saying, exempt if you don't like feet. Like, it's okay. I'm just saying all of those things at one. You've never done any of those things. Not just the one or the next. Just you've never done any of these. Like. But I don't, also don't get the obsession with I don't even putting out freaky. this image of you being a freak to people you're not fucking. Exactly. You trying to entice me? Wrong bitch. It's kind of. It's kind of like I don't really care how you see or what you think that I'm doing if I'm not doing it to you. Have you like I don't care. That there are you know what I mean? On my bed. Oh, you haven't noticed? Yeah, I don't play these games with y'all. Don't fucking play with me. Don't come talk to me about. I'm no sorry. Oh, you. Oh yeah, the strap, the right. That's all. Look, one strap. Yes, so. Three foot. Three foot them. Yes, so. And then the hand strap. <laughs> y'all should see her face. Wait, what, bitch? Yes. So if you're into being restrained, um, I have satin sheets. They're black at the moment. Um, 
And we got some nice little cuffs set up. So, you know, the hands and feet can be strapped and we can have fun. Yeah. Don't play with me. Don't come tell me about you no fucking I'm food. here for it, but I just need a room. I would like a There's personal room. I need a I need a I need over the door sex swing in the closet. When I have my room, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I need a personal room for that. We'll get there. Like I need mm-hmm. because woo, soundproof, boop, I need all that. Yeah. Oh, I I need one of those. The swing on the door things. You want yeah. it? Whenever I use it. If you want it, but not nobody I use it with. But yeah. Wait, wait, what? Wait, don't it was free. Don't play. <laughs> don't don't play. I'm just saying, you know. Yeah. It's a 300 pound sex li- um weight limit. It's how much? 300 pound weight limit. So you know, just sit on it, put your tie them in each one. I look up. Let right, you go. You can run me that. Let me get that. Let me get that. I try that out for you. Let me try yeah. that out for Let you. Me know it Give you a little yeah. review. Yeah. Come on here next time, singing, <laughs> right? <laughs> but yeah, so like. And it's not, oh my God, you have toys, you think. I don't think anything about myself. I, like I said, I know what I like. I know what I'm open to. I know what I'm willing to try. A lot and, of people don't know what they like, though. Like, oh. Be- but this is, it is, but I guess hey, it's. hold on. Woman, please touch yourselves. Oh, boy. Please. How can you give somebody something that you don't know how to do? You're going to do pointless sex tips. Because. We're going to start there. Masturbate, bitch. Put your finger in there. Like, play with it. <laughs> Move it around. Jingle it. Look a bit. Pause. Pinch it, pause. It. Pause. Because some of the girls don't like the penetration. I'm talking about the clip, the vulva. All I'm of just it. saying, Touch some it. of the girls don't like Pinch the it, penetration. It, they it. just like the little rub. They Listen. just, they're DJs. You know what Listen, I'm saying? This jockey right there. You okay. feel me? They those kind of girls. Yes. Shout out to the home team. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. We not all penetration girls. That's not how that works. Yeah, it's not that. It's not all that. But for me. find what works for you is what is what she's saying and yeah. learn your body learn yourself so you ain't got no nobody just hopping on on top of you and you don't even know what's going imagine? on imagine hmm? can you imagine because i be listen y'all be stressing me out me i'm smarty i catch up and all i'm going on with things like, you know <laughs> and them come tell me oh my god i've never done that before the same thing about what yeah how much 30 years old i never did it all right, all right, all right, Ken, can you tell us what it is? Or, like... Apparently, they've never squirted from being fingered. Oh. I'm Hold on, wait, on wait. Now. What time is it? It's got a little... Oh, it's... Oh. Yeah, it's, it's after all. Oh, it's so it, what, what's that? It's <laughs> demon time. No. Oh, Jesus. We are not talking about I demon I am not time. no demon, no. but it's, it, you know... I'm mean, going participate in them someday. Exactly. But, mm. yeah, and it kind of turned me off a little bit because I'm not... Listen... I know what I'm capable of. I'm not here to sit here and be like, oh, I'm the shit. Woo, 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 woo. But at the same time, yeah, like... Yeah, you hear her. You hear her, right? I yeah, like yeah. I hear the cockiness of her voice, right? Okay. So, let's... I just personally feel like... Mm. How you giving it to somebody and you don't know how to use it. You've never fingered yourself. You've never sat there and said, let me see how this going to feel. I mean, and I understand, I understand, I'm not here about to be like, oh my God, girl, da, 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 because I know that there's a stigma against women masturbating, whereas men get the free for all, that they can go masturbate until Jesus comes, and it's okay, but women do it, and something is wrong with them. I understand that. But it's big, big 2022. Listen, I'm not even telling everybody to go buy a toy. When you're not show off, just, you know, rub one. See what happens. <laughs> Touch rub it. Rub one. Touch it. See what y'all don't be playing with y'all nipples. But you gotta understand y'all some, don't be caressing y'all some women though are very like, eh, 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 no, I gotta do that. I'm gonna let my man do that. What if you're or I'm gonna let my person do that. What if you're single? What if you're single for an extended period of time? I'm sorry. When have when's the last time you heard someone being single for an extended number of time and not having sex with somebody else? Y'all nasty. Exactly my point. These people barely make it to a month or anything without having sex with somebody else. So you're not asking the right thing. And even if they know the sex is trash, they're still going to do it just to get their, their um, itch scratched. And you know that. And y'all be having sex with people that don't make y'all come. Stop it. I don't understand why we doing that. Women, I don't care about that. It's men. like riding a ride at the amusement listen, park. Not to say woo. And I'm not doing that. Listen, listen. Men are always going to come. Y'all need to stop. Letting these niggas use y'all. That's why I use this why for I'm, ejaculation. This is where I mind my ghetto and ass enjoy business. Enjoy the sex that you're having. If they suck, tell them forget the pop for y'all. Tell them for move. 
Or you might want to help them look a bit rub on the clip when they're, you know? If they ain't got no stroke, you might need to gyrate to make it. Listen. listen this sounds listen, so listen. sad. Listen, I've been seeing some tweets, and I'm not speaking from experience because me telling my thing. Girl, up, oh, I rather st- I rather start fires with my coochie than <laughs> another. I ain't got time for it. I Listen, rather I rather. You I, hear that? <laughs> that rub? I rather rub because that sound ghetto as hell. That shit, no. And the one that will breed for man whenever make them come yet. Oh no, bumba clot mad. I have a no. I have an issue with that because my thing is, you, so you sleeping with this man? You let a nigga come and, in here and you ain't come. Ew. So you, a baby? so you you having sex with somebody and you're pregnant now and you trying to tell me during this whole experience you did not bust a nut, not one good time? You just got a baby for sport. You ain't even enjoy it. I be mad at the baby every day. You need prayer. I be mad at the baby every day. You need prayer. <laughs> it's a waste of time, but... Listen. Like I said, but nobody cares about none of that. Nobody cares about that. Everybody just cares about getting to it, getting to it. No, you don't no, care no. if you. But what's the point in me doing this if I'm not coming? I don't. I don't understand it. Listen. I don't understand it, but hey, that's not really call, not my business. Call, I know that when I do what I do, I make sure that whoever come and me, I come too. Okay, Listen. it be every time hitting <laughs> like this, every time, bitch, like this, like this, like this, like this, every goddamn time. You see this? You see how quick this is hitting, and that's how quick they be hitting every. <laughs> time okay Money's ain't mr beat not, not yet mm-hmm, so i don't know what the hell i, I can't relate to this ghetto shit and this is when i feel real mm-hmm. uppity in high class bitch because i don't got these problems <laughs> no <laughs> no it's ghetto no i feel sorry for them for true though like i feel really sorry for them because <laughs> can't relate bitch. yeah like even though i intertwine with the male species um <sighs> never have i ever oh. In my big, big age, allowed myself to go back to a situation where I was not sexually satisfied. Are you mad? <laughs> <laughs> you know, see, oh, y'all nice. We forgot later with my when I met my come. When I met me feel good. But now you come run down me. No, yeah. so, I mean, I run back on the man now. Any man will come over here, so I them come look me. So you come look me, give me some parp. My thing is, if you... If and you... that's also why I send the BDSM test ahead of time. Because I feel me it. want for no say if you dominant, you submissive, you vanilla, you rope bunny, you rigor. What like what are you with? You went to age play? Not Hold for on, me, what's baby. what's rigor? What's that? You don't want to tie up the person. Oh, I like that shit. Yeah, but rigor okay. and rope bunny usually go well together. I don't really I don't all them words and all that. I just know tie a motherfucker up. I'm with mm-hmm. the shits. I don't know about the rigor and all that. I know ropes, let's get it. Mm-hmm. Chains and all that. You wanna yes. hang from the ceiling, I'm with the shits too. Hooks <laughs> and all that. Let's hook let's hook it up. I don't know about the rigor though. Whatever that, yeah. yeah that Keep it simple for old school niggas timing. like myself. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had funny enough, I had two people. I sent a test to halfway through the test. They're like, um, I don't really know about all this. I was like, bitch, if you don't just answer the fucking questions, just answer and go, it. It's a hard no, a hard yes, or somewhere in the middle. That's all. I don't need to see your result. Uh, are you really into this stuff, bitch? Oh my god. There's an answer. That right there just turned me off. Don't ask me no questions. I don't about- even know. I feel like I took that test so long ago. I've taken I think it so many times. I think we took it like so long ago. Back in Tumblr days, probably. Yeah, but I took it again because I remember on Twitter it, we did the results and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And I feel like for the most part, I think we were compatible. Just like the love language thing that changes over time also. Because things change. You get older, you try different things. Different I just, things well, I believe I'm getting nastier and nastier. Yeah, I'm not same, really, I'm not same. getting any better same. on the BDSM count. Yeah. It just keeps like, bitch, oh. whoa, let's do this. Hey, I got money. I learned some things. Let's try that now. Okay, mm-hmm. let's hook you from the chandelier and spin you and then <laughs> drop you. Like, that's giving. Like, I want to do that. That's the type of shit I'm trying to, yeah, no, it's getting worse and worse. I, it's not getting I any go better. I want to Tokyo Valentino and watch people have sex, but that's another story for another time. Do you want to go where? Tokyo Valentino. What is that? It's a um. It's you a can't, lot of things. You can't say. Oh, can nigga, you say or no? You can't show. say. Shit, nigga, I, I would just say I ain't know if it was no, like one of them no. secret, like give me your phone, take no. the card type I mean, places. It might be. See, but they have like a sex store. It's in Atlanta. Yeah, they have a couple <laughs> locations. <laughs> of course it is. Mm-hmm. Oh dear. They have a playroom. Clothing optional. And they so, like for the nudist, them. Mm-hmm. Nudie. Mm. Yeah. It's a bunch of different things that goes on and they have different nights for different things, etc. But there's also a sex store, so you know, you can go in. I haven't been to any sex stores in seven years. They have like a that. like a 
do people have like orgies and stuff there mm. and stuff like that? Mm. Mm. Swingers party type stuff also oh, and all of that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll type of things like that. Voyeur mm. type. Well, you know, for the voyeur in me, because I, you know. Camilla, watch people. I was going to, well, that makes three of us. <laughs> okay. Four of us. <clears throat> also, true. Yeah, so I'm, you know, I'm all down to have a little drink and just key, key you know what I mean? And just, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You okay? <laughs> Big cheerleader, like, you better do you that better, shit. Listen. listen. Put your back into it. Kill him. <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about? Or kill her, whoever. I'm cheering all for everybody. I don't, exactly. this, I really don't care. Like, we all know what it is, but I don't, listen, if he, he if he's with it and he's doing what he's supposed to be doing, mm-hmm. I'm going to cheer this nigga on. Like, <laughs> let's get to it, my boy. Exactly. Like, it's up. Y'all into that voyeur shit, though? Um, I. You know, I'm more of a voyeur than an exhibitionist, and that's another thing that is on the test. That exhibitionist is just like to um, having people watch you or being naked in public, etc. I yeah, don't same. care. Mm-hmm. First of all, <sighs> naked in public. I'm not a nudist. I, I'm not a prude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more prude than I am a nudist, though. I will say that I don't want to be running around with my bits hanging out. I'm not that kind of. That's just not my speed. My woman, on the other hand, is the nudist part, okay? And she fine, so I don't care. If she I'm don't care, say, if she don't care, I don't care. If you I'm see her say, naked, then that's on you and you're blessed. Nice that's what I'm saying. <laughs> if you see her naked, you Damn know what's nice. going on. Wrong, right. And I don't really care because I'm going to be like, it's nice, ain't it? <laughs> right. But I like to watch to watch me live or... Either or. Being recorded, Ooh. being watched, et cetera. Listen, it depends on how I'm feeling because if the vibes is right, I don't give a damn because I'm getting to my business. And if you would like to watch, that's like if somebody walk into the room or some shit, I'm not going to stop pumping my shit, my nigga. I'm not. I I know. Huh? Anyways. (laughs) Huh? What? What time is it? Anyways, but yeah, I I am of the same mindset where it does not matter to me if you know I'm already in the swing of things and you know you end up catch something. Hey, just be quiet, don't interrupt. Be quiet. What is it? Please be kind, be fine. The silence is golden. Shut up. <laughs> but I'm not like I think it's probably because I need to lose this belly. We all feel that way. Now if I lose this belly. <laughs> Or a lucky, get some glasses. Don't look. Oh shit! Be naked everywhere. Oh shit! Oh. Naked. Oh. I'm joking. Cause I be I be talking shit. I'm joking. These parts are reserved. But also, I think everybody, even if it's not a relationship thing, or even if you're not talking to somebody, I feel mm-hmm. like you should do the test just so you can know more about yourself mm-hmm. and what you like and what you don't like. So when you do come buck mm-hmm. up fronts with someone. Mm-hmm. You know what you like and yeah. what you don't like and, and what's whatever. Because some like people people bump into the people and they have no idea. Now we stop doing missionary missionary all night because you don't know what you like. I mean, missionary is cool and all. You're gonna choke uh, me. Slap missionary me while you're doing is it? okay. No, no, no. Don't get me wrong now. Because when missionary. you with the right one, Ooh. missionary slap every Looking goddamn time. And I will testify that it's slap. However, and you can slap, continue. but I'm talking about the time when you know, but it's when you don't have any other option. You don't know if should I cock up, should I turn left, should I put this on the right like this, should I lap it up <laughs> like this? You know what I'm saying? Should I arch it? You don't know what's going on. You just laying there and it's dead. Yeah, I don't like that. So if, should I talk? Does he like when you moan? Does, do they like to be choked? Do they like to be slapped? Do I can I pinch a nipple? Nah. Talking, talking is a thing. Hey, y'all need to listen. Yeah, but some people need to wait. Some people no, 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 no. See, this is how it no, goes. Some people need to learn how to communicate. shut the hell up too. Some people talk too much. They <laughs> like, talk too much, and then they ruin it for you. Like you about to get you get in where you need to get, and then they say hey, something, and you just like wow. I feel like this might have happened. Has this happened? Did I tell you something about something like this before? Nah, bro. I, I know. I know, bro. No, I'm just I'm trying saying. To think if I've ever been with anyone that talks. Too I've much heard this sex. though. I've heard this where it's like somebody was right where they're supposed to be, and somebody said something, and it was just like, God. Di-. Okay, hold on. Speaking of being wow. right where you're supposed to be, I have been seeing on Twitter also that apparently men be like changing the pace when you say you're about to come. 
Why? If I'm already about to come, won't you keep the pace that's getting me to the edge? Why are you changing the rhythm and doing the, like, now I'm not going to come again. Like Because now we the are... point is you threw off these niggas' counts, okay? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's what. You spoke and you threw off their count. They was probably on like pump 93. Oh my God. <laughs> Who am I lying? Pump 39. Anyway. Pump number six. That we're okay. <laughs> hey. Oh, you did nine minus three. <laughs> <laughs> facts yes pump that pump and then you say it and it's just like oh shit where the fuck was I mm. well I don't know I can't relate listen listen neither can I because thankfully mm. thankfully shout out to you I make great decisions when it comes to the people I pair my parts with okay like I maybe it's because I ask all these questions ahead of time maybe it's because I'm not afraid to say hey maybe I have a little fever you maybe I have a little fever whoa you suck toes? Do you eat the vajayjay? Hey, is there gonna, anything that's not a, like a no for you? you? Like some of say they don't they don't deal with feet. That's fine. I don't need that. They don't, don't, need they that. don't eat booty. I don't need that either. But you got to eat the cooch. You got listen, cunnilingus have to keep. I'm not under. Okay, as grown people, everyone. There is I'm not understanding. I said grown. There are a couple people. I actually. said grown. I said grown. Not in age, I but said in mind. grown. Not I in said age, grown. Thank you. Thank you so much. And there's certain things I don't feel like should be a question in these relationships. Like, I don't deal with men, obviously, but if I feel like you was a man and that's part of his parts and you want him to do that to you, then I feel like it's only fair that you guys are doing the exchange. That's your business. Listen. I've had this mindset since I was probably like 14 before I even knew Whoa. what oh. I wanted. Do before. I smell a whore? What? <laughs> I was a virgin. Shut up, bitch. 14. I was a fucking at that time. <laughs> but I wasn't. I was still a virgin. Thank you very much. But I was... <laughs> I have always been of the mindset that if I'm in a relationship with somebody, right, and we have gotten to this level where we're having sex and it's an actual relationship that we want to develop and grow, I don't feel like no should be a question, like, should be an answer to anything sexual in a relationship. As long as it's not, like, morally incorrect or, like, completely disheartened. Like, you can't just be like, mm. But they don't like it. No. No, no, no. I said, it can't just be, like, something that's like, mm, why not? Like, I just don't want to do that. You can't give me a reason why? Like, okay, I have a foot phobia. Okay, bet. I'm going to leave you alone. Listen, I'm not with the menstrual shit. You... You what is the run, the running red light business? Yeah, people. Oh, well. I learned um, over the weekend yeah. that um, <laughs> apparently in the Bible it says that you know you're not supposed to do that, mm-hmm. and you're not supposed to do that. I feel like I knew that in the back of my mind forever. You're not supposed to touch a woman when she's unclean. <laughs> That's what that's what I'm saying. It You're is. not supposed to do that when she's unclean because then you are now unclean as yes, well. Yes, you are not supposed to do that. I don't, listen, <laughs> listen, I don't tell nobody what verses to follow and what verses not to follow. If that's what you do, that's your business. If you got to put down that towel, you got to put down that towel, <laughs> and that's your business. That's it. I just want to know, like, um, I'm going to have to ask some questions, because it was a brief conversation, and I was like, all I could say was, oh, because I'm not about to dispute nobody faith with them. I'm really not. I'm very respectful of people and their religious beliefs. Mm-hmm. Very respectful. I have a great admiration for people who are strong in faith and follow the good book and all this stuff. Like, I am... Whew. At least that's a reason. I can deal with reason. I, I might be unreasonable sometimes, yeah, but I can deal, deal with, with reason. reason. Like, you have an actual valid reason as to why you feel like this. You know what? You got it. I'm not even going to fight you about it. You got it. But how the fuck Besides you, the fact that it, it's someone else's blood. But go off, yes. Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> not, I'm not talking about just that. I'm just saying. Just, I'm just saying in general. Ain't no judgment though, bro. Like whatever goes, yeah, really whatever y'all like in y'all bedroom is whatever y'all like, man. Don't take no judgment like towards it. We just jokes and whatever, whatever. As but I don't. I really don't give a damn what the hell y'all doing. Let's be honest. Both parties are okay with what is happening. That's all that matters. That's it. Stop but don't also, but don't people. also, don't force nobody into nothing that you know that, that's making them uncomfortable because that, that's not cool. If they don't like it, then they don't a like lot it. With the whole monogamy and threesome lifestyle, but you know, that's nah, it. that's that's next time. We're not even gonna go into that yeah, for that. those who are claiming that they are these things and into these things and they know they can't manage them. I can't manage. I pick up someone who can't manage. That's what my mother would say. No. Yeah, and 
Yeah, and then the stigma that's been created, been uh, uh, the stigma around being poly, poly and about it just being sexual when it's definitely more than that. Mm-hmm. Stuff like that. But yeah. we we we, we going to get into that because, you We y'all, definitely will. Yeah, we'll chop it up because I've seen like a lot of people popped up poly during the pandemic. Huh. And I wonder if it's because y'all was lonely. Or homeless. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. No? Oh, okay. dear. Sorry. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, Ooh. dear. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> If y'all don't know what we're talking about right now, you're, you're too, too young. young. <laughs> too young, bro. Mm-mm. Yeah, that's yeah, that's another something for our next time. But yeah, I don't even know how the hell we got here. What's that even on? No, we were we... supposed to talk about something. What were we supposed to talk about? Not the album. Something else we said when we were on the way. Oh, jeez, this gonna. We me. did. Did we not? Oh, yes, we did. The split in the bill shit. Yeah, the split in okay. the bill. We talked about it. We Scared talked about me. it. And I just hope nobody... Just do better with y'all friends and men and who y'all going out with for real. Like, don't be just going out with people just to say, oh, we going out. Make it make sense. Yeah, honestly. Because if I know the one time coming, I'm over here and you over here writing your name on a bill, don't ever expect me to go out with ever. you ever, ever again. Because it's not going to go ever. down. Like you said earlier, literally just... Cash out the person ahead of time. This is all it is. Or well, after, whatever works for you. Yeah. And first of all, if you already have a friend that's already like, oh, I don't know what you got, but I ain't paying for that. Like, you're already in bad shape. Yep. You're already in bad shape. Because sometimes, you know your friends. Sometimes everybody, let's say everybody don't got it like that. And exactly. you got invited out. Stop right there. Like you said, you know your friends. Yeah. You know the means in which, you know the lifestyle your friends live. Mm-hmm. If you a Gucci, Louis, Fendi bitch, and your friends, you know. Four for twenty one. They can't afford it, or they just choose not to spend like that. Keep that in mind when y'all going places. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because nigga like me, I'm there's at least a hundred dollars towards this bill, mm-hmm. at least because mm-hmm. I know that. Listen, I might want a nice little steak. I might want some lobster steak and shrimp. Mm-hmm. I'm not about to sit here and be like, mm, I'll just have a salad. For what? We come sit on, come eat. We're having a good time. We're Let's bread. eat. And that's the thing. Like, y'all come out just to say y'all came out, just to take pictures at this restaurant and drop pin location or whatever, just so you can get your salad and water. But you know it's home. not about enjoying the moments and the stuff yeah. no more. It's all about putting it up on TikTok Listen. or putting it up on IG, live reels, all that shit, story. This whatever the hell. There's so ties... many options now. People don't do things for moments, though. Exactly. And this ties back into... The D and D shit. Listen, people do these things they can't even remember what the I food be tasted out like, with bro. People or be in the presence of people. And my phone is on D and D. Not even because I'm on no sneak shit or no shady shit, but off the strength of I want to enjoy your company without any distractions. Right. Y'all don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm the type of person. Like yes, I might have my phone out. Yes, I'm gonna take a picture of you. I might want to do a little Instagram, whatever. I'm, I'm even worse. I'm even like... worse. I'll slap you because most likely I'm looking at my <laughs> charts and I'm and I'm trading. So don't even get your feelings hurt. Exactly. It's not personal. I'm taking pictures and I'm not posting them for like two, three weeks after the event happened. Y'all don't need to know what I've been doing with my life. I this lie. is for my memory. Li- right. Unless it's an IG story. Yeah. While I'm there live time. Shit. Sometimes, and that's hardly ever. Sometimes, sometimes. I take the IG story and don't post it until two, three it. days later. Like, that you know what I'm too. saying? So it's like. I do. I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm perfect and I don't take pictures or whatever. I'm a photographer at the end of the day. That's my passion. That's mm-hmm. my life. I capture moments. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to take pictures and videos and Ray Tay Tay or whatever. But it's not for you. I'm her apprentice. I just like to take some pictures. <laughs> at the end of the day, it's not for you. It's definitely for me and my horrible memory so that I can be like, oh shit, I did do this. That was a fun day. And I got a thing with pictures. That, I love that. I love when I can live. I do it now. Like mm-hmm. moments that we had in Miami oh. a few years ago with parties. Like I have a whole party folder albums of videos Sorry. of us being out partying. And sometimes, like even during the pandemic, it helped me so much because we mm-hmm. wasn't able to go out. Mm-hmm. So I was able to look back and Fast. be like, and you hear me in the house, man. That's <laughs> you hear me in the house, man. What a time to be alive, bro. Look at this shit. If you wasn't here, you wasn't doing it. And hype is fuck just to watch them videos. I like all them shits. I make sure I take pictures. I make sure I make videos so I can sit back and look back. People don't like memories and shit. Exactly. My memory sucks, so I need to have this shit captured. Yeah, I like I like taking my stuff. But what is intimate and what is whatever stays intimate. Yes. You pe- not many people no people don't know where I be. 
Mm-hmm. They don't, people still don't know where the hell I live. They get me mixed up. They think I'm here. They think I'm there. Mm-hmm. They think I'm everywhere. People don't know what's going on. They don't know what's happening. They don't know if, if I have a secret baby. They don't know if I went straight <laughs> <laughs> and now have a man. <laughs> Hello. Don't know none, any of those things. You know what Wait, I'm saying? How's your daughter? Oh, shit. My daughter, you're absolutely right. Y'all remember, if you don't remember, it's on one of them episodes, like way back, 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 when somebody lied on me and said I had a whole kid out here in these streets. Poor me. I have never been any of those, I have never been pregnant. None of those things a day in my life, y'all. And um, somebody lied on me. My kid is fine. My invisible, my, my invisible child is fine. That's what's up. Very fine. That's what's up. Yeah, I just. <laughs> Living good. Yeah, people wild. That's, yeah. <laughs> I'm still dying at that shit. Excuse me, a who? A whole kid. How? Bro. A whole kid. Tell me when. <laughs> For real. But, I don't know. Whatever. That's just the dub. Um, I have something else to talk about on here, but we are currently at like an hour and a half. So, we about to switch into the rapper rapper. What's the rapper upper, bro? This album. Oh, boy. All right. All right. So. The last time. We did talk about her, and it's funny because I didn't even know she had an album coming out. We talked about Shansia, if you remember. Yes. Shansia Cat. The day the episode dropped, the album dropped, and I did not know that an album was coming. I'm never going to watch it. So On time. I did not you know. You know how this goes? We called COVID, and look what happened. Dog, please don't remind me. <laughs> so anyways, right? The album, Title Alpha, just dropped Friday. Um... You listen to the album? Yeah, nigga, don't ask me if I listen to that shit. Yeah, I listen to that shit. I listen to that shit today, bro. And I told, I told um, her to listen to it. Guys. Because I wanted to, she she definitely <laughs> had me like, go listen to it. I was like, all right. Um, I feel about it. I want to say, all right, so I played as it. As a whole, sh- as a whole. You no, nigga, I'm going to say no, nigga. I'm gonna go, I'm I gonna can't do song. that, but I can't no? do that, bro. Mm. I wanted to say I started the album, and um, when I started it, like the first two, three songs, so I played it straight, no mm-hmm. shuffle, right? And I was, at first, I was like, whoa, what? At first, I was like, whoa, what's going on here? It's kind of giving Doja vibes. Yes. And I'm listening to the to the beats and the rhythms and all that stuff because you know that's big for me. So mm-hmm. I'm just like, mm, some of these are real mm, 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 bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Mm-hmm. So I'm just like, this is real Doja. All right, then it started to go up. Let me see little features, features. Mm-hmm. We get into it's somebody, hella features. somebody too. Yeah, if, yeah, too much feature with me. What, what what I thought kind of features was going to be on it wasn't the features that was on there. But that's not my business. I am not the producer. I am not the artist. Okay. But. You don't want to tell the people what I think about? No? I'm going to get there. Don't worry about okay, it. Okay, okay. And then um, she has. <sighs> Can I just say Overall, this? I liked four songs. Can I just say, I did not know that Blessed was going to be on this album. Yes. Look for one. So, that yes. That song is old and the la- dirt. Ain't that the last song? The last song on the album. I mean, maybe she just needed one more song. People can drop albums with six songs and, like, it's okay. EPs. I um, guess, child. But four songs, about four songs on there. She got um, this one with um, that guy, that uh, the one. What's his name? Oh, Tiger? Not him. Oh, he annoyed me. What's, Offset? what's Cardi B? That's the one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, her husband, him. Little cheating husband, him. <laughs> The little little song, little ba- when bouncy. bouncy, yeah, that's what you were saying earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bouncy's cute. Mm-hmm. It, it's giving where we are right now mm-hmm. that sound and vibe. It's okay. It's cute. It's interesting to hear all of this from her. It's like I'm trying to wrap my mind around everything because the sounds it and everything. Sound like her. The first few. That songs, is the. F- okay, that's, this is okay. Doja. Yes. This is the thing for me, right? Like you said, same thing. Like you said, and I hate it because I feel like everyone is saying the same thing. Mm-hmm. We have been listening. Like I started the album, same way like how you did. I was like, I'm not jumping, skipping nothing, mm-hmm. but I'm gonna skip through. Honest to God, I didn't run anything back until it got to. I think I think Bounty was probably the first one I I ran back, mm-hmm. right? And then Henkel Glue because beat him. I I. 
I think it's just because the Beanie Man's voice, and I feel like I haven't heard him on anything new in a I while. I wanted so hard to like this song because that was the first like Checking dance all and dance all any kind of collab that was on the album. Yes. And we had to wait till like song seven, six or seven. Literally seven. Mm-hmm. Okay. Had to wait till song seven, and I. No, it did not give me what I wanted. Yeah, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, I be in it, it. No, 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 no. I'm not doing all that. It ain't, my favorite song on that whole thing was the Shen X. I love that song. That, love that song, song is bad. Yes. Okay, but listen to the rhythm, them pani. A lot of these. You didn't like egocentric. I did. That's the other one. Yes. That's the other one. Egocentric, that bouncy. And what's the next one that it like? Hangover, body count. I say about those two. No, no, girl. Body count, I forgot my name. Yeah, really but like I'm saying hangover. No, that's no, toxic. Oh, that one day. That's not that one day toxic either. to me. Can't anymore. Me like yes. that one day. Yeah. Can't anymore, but I like egocentric. I kind of like the, the chorus online if I call it love. That's the that's one the with chorus. that's one with Sean Paul. Yes, I said the chorus. I said the chorus. I said the chorus. Oh, that need that need the kawata. <laughs> dry girl, dry. I just like the chorus. But Shen X anthem. Yes, is a big friggin' tune. Egocentric is mine. Egocentric is the second one. Those are the two <laughs> that I had liked. Right, yeah, I can show you and bouncy. You know, I like my thing on Spotify and can't uh-huh. anymore. My thing is, I'm I'm very. It's dope to see mm-hmm. her do this and come so whatever, whatever. But it it it's definitely a box if you know who Shensia is and you listen to it. It's yes. like, whoa, wait a minute, yeah. wait a minute. Especially when you first get into Step it, because it's like, because it's like, who are these folks? Yeah. Like, who are you? And she got London on the track. That's I care so much. Listen, I was dying when I. How I about said, Jamaica oh, on the track? That would be great. That, listen, Russian, Russian <laughs> Jamaica on a, Jamaica on the track would be great. Russian did it. Listen, okay, so me listening to this, right? Mm-hmm. Going through the same thing. I'm sitting. I was like, what the fuck is this? Mm-hmm. Like, no disrespect, but like, I'm What's sitting. There, the, the, the something come in. I'ma say, Target. Aim for the Target. Put it. What? What? What are we putting? I don't like that song. What are we putting on it? What I are, don't like that song. Are you at talking damn about the clip? All. What are we? Are we I mm. said that when I listened to it. I said I don't like the, the damn Target song. Yeah, I, mm, okay, whatever. I then swear what? I said that. Can't anymore. Yes, that one's a good one. But I was like, mm, the vibe though. I love. Okay, I love the range. Yeah. I love that it wasn't completely excluding. Dance I would say all. that for the range. I would yes. say for the range. I love that it's not completely excluding dance all. I'm glad she gave us our two little features or whatever the fucking you know cool. But my thing is when she is not. Doing dance hall and she is not speaking patois. She sound completely different. The whole voice, of That's course, true. and deep. You know, of course, of course, the voice change. She's doing her little hoo hoo hoo, whatever the hell she's singing. Cool, go you. But I just, mm-hmm. it's something. I'm not trying to put her in a box. I'm not trying to say she has to do just no one, one thing. Is trying to put her in a box, but it. Damn. Yeah, damn. it's different. It's just really different. And then, like, deserve it. We don't remember all that one that going on. And then, also, Are you and that? then that's another issue. Not memorable. The freaking Lick song. That's an issue. Please don't start with a Lick song. Give big up. Then he's the bell fun. Bouncy, like you said, was good. I like Bouncy. Bouncy cute because Bouncy is very Atlanta, very mm-hmm. um, hookah in there. Bouncy uh, yeah. uh, 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 mm-hmm. at the club, you know, yep. standing on the couch. Eh, 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 eh. Yeah. That's cute, but. Some of them are not for me, and that's okay. But I'm sure she has got plenty of new fans mm-hmm. and oh, stuff, absolutely. which we love to see. Absolutely. Um, I liked a, I liked more than anything. I think more than her words, what would catch me more. I liked a lot of the beats. A lot of she had a lot of like Afrobeat influence mm-hmm. things, and you know, Afrobeat mm-hmm. is my thing. So that I liked on mm-hmm. some of them, but some of them was just a bit too like. Oops, to yeah. the left side for me, yeah. like damn. But I mean, all in all, it just gives me like I'm, I'm rate wondering. It. Rate it out of ten. Don't make me do that. Ooh. I because, like I said, uh, it's somebody. Somebody songs, said a five out of ten. A lot of the songs made me think of someone else, or something that someone else has so done. Sad. Mm. So it's like some of the songs. I'm like, this sound like a song that I heard before. Or this sound, like, I'm not trying to take nothing away from her. You know what I'm saying? Like, shout out to her, whatever, whatever. I felt like I had this whole conversation, and you know who I said it was? Mm-hmm. Rihanna. 
I'm not even gonna disagree with that. I can't argue with that. There is that one. I don't know what song I was listening to. I was like, this is Rihanna right here. Yeah. Like, this is oh, but I see. Uh, uh-huh. Are we doing Caribbean Girls Run It? Is that what we're doing? Listen, I'm with it. I'm always here for the. Caribbean are we Girls doing it? it. Be, is, is she? I don't want to do this. I don't want to do it. Is I'm she? Always- is she the presentable? Caribbean girl? Is she the presentable Jamaican Caribbean girl? Is, is that what that is? Is she the presentable one? Because we've had artists. But let's not. Let's not. Let's not. There's been female artists in Don Sol. Let's not. Before we even get to that part, G- how many of them are making a conscious effort to water down their craft or whatever the case it is to cross over? Because at the end of the day... Do you look at it like that, or are you going to add image into it, too? I said before we get to that. Mm. I'm because, not going to... Because you because know, she, she's visually appealing and presentable. Uh-huh. And you know them love To the masses. Color. This yeah. is what I'm saying. To the masses. Again, some people who I... I'm not going to say my queen, but you know? I'm just saying... Exactly. How come she's having a song with Megan? Them day and the same lane with them one another. Oh, another thing. Look for when she live at Atlanta. Another thing. A lot of these songs that talk about her pussy. I said that too. Imagine good, good me. I started listening to this shit when I was making my eggs. Now, <laughs> now I'm making these damn eggs, and it's something she said something about her front, and I was like, wait, wait a minute. Now, now are my good eggs. You just talking about your pump pump. Wait a minute. Next song, you talking about more about this and that. I'm like, well, damn. Like, I understand sex sells, but you're not for sell it. I'm not gonna tell you how she's to do naturally your craft. sexy though. Yes. This is her vibe. Mm-hmm. This is what she gives off. But a lot of it is like pussy. This I'm like, wow. Like, what's, what's she said there's she a song I do not feelings. like. Which is that song I do not like? Which is that something about shit? Uh, people I know, people I carry pussy feelings. Yeah, yeah our, our pussy give people feelings or some shit like that. Yeah, there was one song on there like, that I did not like. She was talking about if is that the body count? Probably. Yeah, something. Don't worry about my body count. Just make yes. sure your body count. Yes. Yep. That's body count. Great. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not about to be out here shaming women and what they do. I gotta say fun. this. I love Shensia. Like y'all seen the freestyles when Shensia yes. out here flaming. Ooh. That's the Shensia I like. And I like Shang Yang Antem, yes. them kind of thing. That's why I like the Shen Bad X gal. Antem. Because Shen X Antem, even though it's a little like Calm mm, down calmer, ish. you can hear the flow and you yes. can hear the I like the I, lyricist. Yes, Shensia. on that. That is a cut. That on that and egocentric. Those yes. two. Yes. Yeah. I am a lyricist type of person. I like lyrical content. Yes. No pun intended. I like some shit like, ooh, she flamed them. Yes. You hear that? You hear that? I, I like, like that. wordplay, comeback. Let's exactly. Let me play this I like again. some bars. Yes. Not because you're a woman. I like to hear bars. Yes. You're not going to just get away with being pretty here. Exactly. I no. like bars. And me, rhythms are big with me mm-hmm. and beats and stuff. Shout out to y'all getting, you know, hip to the Afrobeat wave. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm glad to see that you guys have finally made it. And now shit be sounded bomb, but I don't also don't want everyone to not mm. start sounding the same. Mm. I don't want that. But yes, it's it's good. It was a good look for her. Her first little album and stuff like that. It's a good look. Yeah. yeah. I fuck with it. Yeah, it's cool. I'm gonna leave it alone. Yeah, I'm it's cool. It I mean, it's not all the time you gonna listen to stuff and like everything. We like the few, I mean. Yeah. It's your first. I mean, everything is not for everybody. I'm just Facts. glad, like I said, she didn't completely cast out dance all. Yeah. And I love, like, towards the end of the album, she was like, I feel like the way the album was curated is probably to reel in. Reel in. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because they're like, oh, she did a song with She Megan became more of herself at the end, is what you're saying? Yes, or at least she appealed more Peel, to her OG yeah. fans. Yeah. On the end. Because I was like, girl, if you don't come with some motherfucking lyrics yeah, and but shit, you, I'm going to turn but this But see, shit off. here's where things get crazy. This day and age, the capacity to sit and listen to a whole album yeah. from start to finish, I'm not going to hold you. I listened to half the album, mm-hmm. took like three, four hours out of the day, and then and then listened to the other half. So you really got to do what you're doing mm-hmm. sometimes within them first two, three songs because people are not letting albums yeah. play anymore. So she you got to grab the attention from early. She caught me at work, so... I was at work and it was background music. I didn't even really listen to it until it got to... I was like, wait, beat him on? What is this? Let me run it back and see what's happening. I started them eggs and I heard... And I was just like, wow, this is Doja. I feel like I was listening yeah. to Doja. It definitely... And I feel like a lot of people were saying it gave Doja vibes also. Because it definitely was like... 
like that fairy music type of shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So like and fairy wrong, music? Like, you know, like Doja makes fairy music. You know, what like the that, hell is fairy you know, music? Like that airy, like ooh la la like type shit. Like, ooh like, la it gives la me glitter, fairy music. Glitter what does that mean? <laughs> like like fairy music? Like I mean, say so? Yes. Oh, I love that song. Yeah, I though. do too. I'm not saying it in a That's bad a way. That's a good song I love though. That song. That's like you want shrooms. That's what you mean? Like you want yeah. some shrooms? Like just like happy music, like you know, vibey. Right? <laughs> Vibe. Shut the hell up. Yeah, that's like you like on some shrooms in a park and it's just honestly. I feel you. Hippie, hippie so, type. Yeah, that's happy what, stuff. That's what it gave me, like the rhythm and like the flow of the songs or whatever. So that's just how I felt about it. You know, hold but, on. What appeals? They gotta hit what appeals as well. Yeah. And they're not, in their own way. Yes. And I just, like I said, it's a very well-rounded album. I'm sure there are different people from different areas of life that are going to see something on the album that they I didn't expect to. some of them damn collabs. So yeah. I ain't going to hold you up. I didn't it expect. Was... I was like, who? Okay. Yeah. This is interesting. I was like, yeah, yeah, okay. She really got some I was like, you hook up. Yes. But like but I said, already knew she was gonna be hooked up from you from 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 last year around last year I think it was when I seen start started seeing her around with like Khaled. Mm-hmm. I knew then. Oh yeah. Yeah, I knew then. I oh, was yeah. like, okay. Yeah, I was like, okay. They like. Thing. I was like, they like you. Yeah. And I was like, she's gorgeous. But it's interesting. She's gorgeous. We know. And she's young. And she's brown. Go ahead. And girl. she probably <laughs> is probably also more susceptible to bullshit than. Other folks would yeah, be. Yeah, she Not young, to say that she's brown, or and 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 good, and and have the sex appeal. So yeah. they're gonna do it. And she start dance yet? She be doing these little wind down thing. I don't. Yeah. Okay. I don't know, man. I just feel like a lot of the songs are talking about her getting head. Not like I have a problem with that. I just think it's interesting. I heard a couple songs on there when she was talking about licking. Not even just the lick songs, you know. Chancia, oh, Chancia is a big advocate for um cunnilingus, cunnilingus. Yeah, no, huge no. and fingering, I love huge. It. Oh yes, you know I love that song. Ooh, huge foreplay, yeah, yeah I know. I mean, you yeah, change it yeah, to yeah me. that's yeah. you. Yeah, come, um, not yeah. yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That me like, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> nah. But yeah, definitely, and yeah, you know, I mean, I hope the album does well. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, facts. I hope the album does facts. well. I hope she, you know. Gets all the fucking acclamations that she I know she get everything she deserves. Yeah. All the accolades, all of that. Like, run it. Because, mm-hmm. shit, she deserves. It may not hit all the ones for me, but... Yeah. It may hit all the ones for not, somebody. Everything is not I took everybody. I took my little pieces that I could get from it, and, I, and I'm cool with that. You know exactly. what I'm saying? I'm cool with the fact that whatever. Yeah, that's cool. All right. So, um, I'm starting to yawn. So, it's time to wrap this shit up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Make sure you follow us on all the social yeah, media. Yeah, nigga, things. before you be over here leaned up in a corner you and shit. You know I go to sleep slump. on this damn podcast. Yo, I mean, this bro. bitch knocked out. I do. Hey, wow, y'all. She can fall asleep anywhere. That shit's so crazy. Anytime, bro. anywhere. I do not care. As yeah, long as I'm in the wrong, company bro. of people that I trust, listen, y'all them lock. Yeah? You trust right. me. You trust me too much. <laughs> Nigga, my mama know you. Don't play okay, with me. Okay, that's bad. <laughs> listen, I ain't got time for that phone call. Shit. So, yeah. Um,. But yeah, you know, um, catch us on all the social media things. All those stuff, man. The Twitters, the Instagrams, the YouTubes, et cetera. Facts. Um, Lion Young V. Yes. Or the one over there. Um, <laughs> Not the one over there. <laughs> on the Twitters. And Dem Sugar underscore on the Instagram. Yep. Pointless Talks. On everything. It's P-O-I-N-T-L-E-S-S-S-T-A-L-K-S. Pointless um, get you an ashtray. Check out the website. All them stuff. Um, we are on YouTube. We're on anywhere you listen to podcasts. We are there. Check us out on all the other, everything. Just everywhere, 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 everywhere. And yeah, I'm tired. So this sounds like shit right now. But anyways, um, <laughs> <laughs> whether you got here on purpose or by fate, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Pointless Talks. Yes. Bye. And wear your mask. Wear your mask. I don't <laughs> care what the people them told you. Wear the fuck Wear your mask. mask. Thanks. Bye.